Hello. Ooh. Hello everyone and welcome back to Tabletop Fables and the second ever episode of House of Mercy. I'm DM Cody and we're going to quickly go around and introduce ourselves and our characters starting from... G'day there, I'm Cooper. I'm playing Kip, a uh, young half-elf boy. Uh, he enjoys a bit of music and uh, yeah, he's nice and happy. Likes to see, he's uh, very much an optimist and uh, yeah, he's just a nice go-getter kind of lad. I'm Josh, I'll be playing Ruse, the uh, changeling bard. He uh, is a little mischief maker, and uh, he's just learnt that songs can make people do things. So that's where he's at. Oh, God, I can feel things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have like 20 knives as well, by the way. Oh, exactly. <laughs> oh, 20, 21. All right. Mm. Oh. More knives than me. What has been? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that's true. Uh, I, I am Blake, I play Raz. Uh, a little air genasi child who is just along for the ride and uh, is still very confused. That has not changed. <laughs> uh, so some, some years have passed since we last met these children. Uh, they're a bit older now, uh, aging between about 10 and 12, 13 years old. Um, at the moment, Tonk's in trouble. No one knows quite why, but he's been confined to his room in time out. Uh, you've tried asking and he is not allowed to tell you. I am definitely mm-hmm. slipping him food under the door. <laughs> <at every opportunity. laughs> um, so it's another morning, spring at this time of year. Uh, you hear a lot of birds singing outside. You look outside to see bright blue skies and you hear the waves lapping at the shore nearby. Um, as you wake up, you hear the rattling downstairs of food being prepared. Uh, you find yourself sleeping in a little bit longer than you used to. You used to be up at the crack of dawn with breakfast, but the day started already without you. Um, but you're slowly coming to in your room. Are they not, not waking us up as early anymore? Or are... No. Okay. The so younger kids seem to be doing the early work because they're already up. Right, right, right. You're given some of the more arduous <clears throat> tasks now that you're big enough to do them. Uh, well, the, uh, I'm enjoying sleeping in more. That was an excellent sleep. <sighs> <laughs> you hear some heavy footsteps thudding outside your door. Uh, The door swings open, there's a very large dragonborn with silver scales across his face. Uh, You recognise a Shed who's aged much faster than you as a dragonborn. (laughs) He looks like an adult, even though he's a couple of years older than you. Does he know... (laughs) (laughs) Does does he know that I'm a changeling? Um, (laughs) In this amount of time, he's probably figured it out, right? Yes, he's hopefully. He put it together after your first. Still Um, still under the covers, I'll change it to him. (laughs) But like younger him. <laughs> you guys coming down to breakfast? Oh, yes, sounds older like a brother. plan. <laughs> yes, older brother, I will come down for breakfast. <laughs> Look, I'm a big dumb dragonborn. <laughs> Just make my bed. He sits back and closes the door. <laughs> and you hear <laughs> something heavy thumbs against. Oh, the very funny! <laughs> very funny! Yeah, very you funny. To the door. See you now, breakfast. You know, they will know it was you because you're a giant monstrosity. Jeez. Yes, I'm going to tell them. <laughs> I finish making my bed and just... Well, I'm going to go out the window. I'll see you down there. And I'll climb I take this out as the window a, and go down. I take this as a sign we can sleep in. No. <laughs> comes back up and so. change back to look like Arthur Silk. <laughs> Despite the fact that nobody can see you. No, I'm, 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 I'm full, full adult alpha still now at all times. <laughs> Unless otherwise noted. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the cue of Ruse on this one. <laughs> Extra nap time. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so you both fall back to sleep. Yeah. Um, you jump down, you mm-hmm. hear the cows moaning, they're moving around, eating in the paddocks. Mm-hmm. Um, you go down the drain pipe and end up on the very soft green grass mm-hmm. covered in morning dew. Ah, get me feet wet. Shh, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Close I want to like reach down, grab a rock, and just pop it through the window. <laughs> uh, roll a d20 for me. Sure. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> you see or hear a rock clatter in your room, right in the centre. Come on, lads! <laughs> what are you going to do? Throw stones at us all day? Uh. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> I walk off. <laughs> I want breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, so you head around the front. And, um, mm-hmm. At this point, you've been jumping and climbing and scurrying around that you can just climb the cow fence quite easily. Mm-hmm. Uh, scamping over, you go around through the cabbage patch where you see some of the younger kids are already working on the cabbages, pulling them up. Mm-hmm. Um, they look up at you and wave, um, and you notice a couple of them, two halflings. Hey! Hey! How's it going? We're on cabbages! <laughs> 
Good for you. Yeah. Wow, that accent. <laughs> Are we going to play music louder? Well, if we get the chance, then yeah. All right, well, I think we'll be finished here about lunchtime. I'll see you in the fields. Okay. <laughs> You um, see them both struggling on one cabbage because they're so small that tiny hands can barely get around it. <laughs> I chuckle and I'll go inside and get myself some food. Uh, so you walk into the uh, lounge room. Alpha Seal's chair is still in the middle of the room right in front of the fireplace. Much more weathered after several years. Mm -hmm. um, up the staircase you see a very large uh, dresser that's been pushed from the side of the hallway <laughs> right in front of the door, jamming it closed. <laughs> and you see Chev sitting at the table eating. I'll sort of look at Chev, look back at the thing, and just think to myself. And I'll think to myself. Uh, I'll walk up the stairs and I'll <laughs> walk up the stairs and I'll try and shift the thing. <laughs> Strength check, no worries. Fifteen. Yep. So you sort of jimmy it across and can get the door open. You mm -hmm. can't really get it back to where it was, mm -hmm. but you get plenty of space to open the door. Mm -hmm. I'll just open the door and. What well, change your mind? Did you, Chev? <laughs> I try to imitate Chev and say, Yeah! Performance. <laughs> 14. It's up to you if you believe that. <laughs> <laughs> What's my insight? I mean, Raz, whose yeah. head is a bunch of covers, knows full what what's going on. I just said, Yeah! <laughs> Go on. Now, I'll pop now my get head out of bed! <laughs> I'll pop my head up out of the covers. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I've been working on this. I'm very impressed. And I'll just as clap as loudly as I can. God. <laughs> well, come on, you two. Let's go get some food. Oh, why would you clap so loud? What are you doing with me? I step two feet into the room and... Oh, oh come on. Uh... Come on, you're going to miss out on the food. Uh... Kip, do not litter. I'll pick the rock up and throw it back out the window. <laughs> You hear an indignant mooing as you look down and a cow is almost hit by the rock. Moo. <laughs> Moo. Lumbers off. I like try and change my face to a cow, but it doesn't work. It only works on human words. <laughs> it's a <bit> face. <laughs> it's like a half to the... Yeah. yeah. I will get it one day. <laughs> Never get used to it. It's all right. You got it. <laughs> Uh, so you all start heading downstairs? Yep. Yes, please. Mm. Uh, the table's spread with lots of pastries, freshly made, blueberry pies, uh, fresh bread. I immediately uh, go for a blueberry pie. I, I almost died for it. I just... Oh! <laughs> blueberry pie's my favourite. <laughs> ah, your kids are finally up. You see Arthur still sitting at the end, smoking his pipe. Uh, <laughs> oh, I <laughs> grab a spoon and pretend to like... <laughs> What's the uh, plan I'm today? I'm getting sick of you doing that, you know. For, for nine years you have been sick. You should see a doctor. <laughs> and I'll waggle my eyebrows like Rato Monks. <laughs> um, Alpha Seal, what's the uh, plan today? <sighs> well, for you lot, you're going into the town. All right. What are we? Uh, what are we going for? Got to pick up some fish. Oh man, do we have to? Do we have? Do to you want to eat fish? When we pick them up, do we have to bring them back? Yes. You should be more direct with your instructions. <laughs> I will pick up my fish and put it back down. You see an all too familiar expression of him staring blankly, his mouth gaping a little bit as the pipe just hangs out or about to fall out. <laughs> the spoon falls out of my mouth. Ah, I'm working on that. I will get it one day. <sighs> all right, well, um, if we're going to go get some fish, uh, is there anything else that you want us to do? or Bring them back. Oh, okay, I thought that was a... <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> assumed, but all right. Assume yes, nothing. So you would make an ass out of you and me. Where did you learn that? I mean, uh, he's, got, he's got a point. <laughs> Where do you people keep finding these books? Half a seal. You know your library? It's very good. <laughs> Might even burn it. <laughs> you would not dare. <laughs> Should never limit knowledge to children. Or give it to them. That's apparently. true. <laughs> We're off to see the fish wizard. Uh, I'm going to eat, eat, eat my food sure first. I'm pretty sure I'm a sorcerer. Oh, well, oh, man. close enough. <laughs> They're not that different, surely. It's, it's all just... magic to me. Well, hurry up, eat up. There's a wizard with no books. I scarf a blueberry pie. <laughs> I take one of the knives from the table. <laughs> You've got 22 knives. <laughs> got At this point, Alfie just looks up, looks down. <sighs> Shakes his head and just ignores it. 
Every now and then you do get raided because the place runs out of knives and your knife stash is taken <laughs> <the> <laughs> drawers. I imagine so. I don't store them anywhere different each time. <laughs> They've just kind of given up on you taking them at this point <laughs> until it becomes a problem. I'll get some in town. <laughs> <laughs> Replace the supply for them. They're, um, they're going to raid your stash one day. It's going to be more knives than they start with. <laughs> exactly. I'm helping. After I finish eating, I would like to go back up to my room and gather a few things, partic- yep. namely a flute that I have gotten in the time and uh, for um, some meta knowledge, are we like allowed to carry like daggers and stuff? Yeah. Awesome. I'll grab it. I'll, <laughs> I'll bring my uh, dagger along. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's not going to stop this one, but you know, <laughs> outside bring- of the orphanage, you basically are expected to have some sort of yeah. protection on you, just in case. I'll take my uh, nice ornate curved dagger as well as. I'll take three other smaller ones that are long and thin. Have, have I upgraded from a sharpened stick? Uh, do you want to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have. Well, what weapon do you want to run with? Guess. <laughs> if it's a knife, I'd probably take it. No, well, it's, it, it's a rapier, so that's a kind of knife. Does that mean you've... Too big for me. Does that mean you, like, constantly raid my stash as well? Yeah. Damn it. 100%. <laughs> but yeah, w- without doubt. If it's not strapped to your body, I probably got it. That's fair. That's why I keep most of mine with my other stuff. Um, there is a, stuff. you're not allowed to have a rapier, but there was a rusted rapier you found that you hide just outside of the orphanage. Ah, perfect. <laughs> found that it down at the beach one day. <laughs> Alright, I'll strap on my, uh, strap on my knife belt and I will get my, in my little pouch, it's like a nice little detachable flute that I probably stole. <laughs> To have something that Liberated. nice. Wasn't Lip- I wouldn't have stolen that. Borrowed Permanent. indefinitely. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's a nice little collapsible one that you keep in a nice little pouch. Yeah. Have that with me. And I'll put my vest on. Yeah. My shoes. I am already dressed. <laughs> As Alpha Sil. <laughs> Immaculately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Eileen keeps making the same jumper for him. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, she's still working in the kitchen. You see her look up as you're struggling. It's like, do you think you've got enough knives there, dear? No. <laughs> I only have one knife. Just the one. <laughs> now remember, that's only to be used if you need it. I can't not use it. Remember, every time you take it away, it comes back to me. Yes. So just leave it on you. I don't have a choice. <laughs> I have to leave it on me. All I'm saying is if I find out you're threatening the children with one again, it'll be time out for a week. It was not threatening. I was showing them very closely. <laughs> yes, well, don't show them very closely. Don't show them at all. Do you want me to get more knives for you from the town? <sighs> I'd rather you just return mine, but sure. <laughs> That'd be better. <laughs> but you're paying for them, so you better find a way to make money while you're in there. You're right. I do pay for them. Go on, off you go, you <laughs> lot. <laughs> Alpha's a tricky bastards. Do you want free knives or not, Alpha? Come on, buddy. <laughs> Get out. Go on. <laughs> piss off. Um, before we go, is there is there any chance that um, is there any chance that Taylor and Arabella could uh, come to town with me at some point? I want to try my luck busking. Are you sure you want to try that again, dear? Well, yeah, it's fun, and they won't they didn't get hurt that bad last time. The bruises have healed. Oh yes. <laughs> But it is a wet of good tomatoes. Don't worry. Mm. Raz and I will protect you. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I will be like a bouncer. You know, the tough man at the front of the tavern. Look, keep practicing, okay? Maybe soon. Practicing, All right. Practicing the tough man or what? Both. Yes. Definitely yes. both. Keep <laughs> practicing that too. Do you not think Alpha Seal is tough? I'm just like you. I looked at the table the opposite. He's glowering at you. She looks over and says, no, he's a sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy with that now. <laughs> See him grumbling under Job his Job done. Uh, as you leave, uh, head out the front door, you see Arthur call up. Oh, by the way, see that bloody dog? Bring him back. You got it. Apparently he's been causing trouble through the town. That does not sound like Brucho. All right, we'll be sure to keep an eye out for him. Good. Now get out of here. I'm already outside, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I, on the other hand, was not, so I'm just going to follow along. Uh, so you leave, and uh, just as you get to the door, he runs up and hands you a pouch of silver um, to, actually, Perfect. hand it to you. Alright, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll take it, and uh, I will... It probably seems like the most trustworthy. I'll yeah, put it inside my vest. vest. Yeah. 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 I, uh, I understand that people steal things. <laughs> How would you have learned? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. 
Uh, so you head out through the main gate down the dirt path. Across to your right, you see the ocean expanding out as far as you can see. You see a couple of merchant ships out in the distance following along. Um, and you head around the dirt path, which leads you back around your fields, around the paddocks. Um, and after about an hour, up to the houses of the main village. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's uh, where I was on the same I forget about that sometimes. Lovely day for it. For walking? Yeah. Enjoying the weather, the ocean, the breeze, the sun. Have you ever thought about, you know, what it might be like to go on those ships out there and see the world? Yes, it would be, I would get sick. 100%. <laughs> it would make for a great story, other than I would be sick. I've always thought, I've always just thought, why, like, when I get older and grow up, why, why not jump on a ship and just explore? You I can do that. I Great. enjoy seeing. I, I really want to see places. You want to see a desert? Well, yeah. I've never been to a desert. I mean, but not right now. <laughs> well, no, we're Very important. <laughs> get fish. We've got a we've got a job to do. And um... fuck it. You want fish? Look, the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get fish. <laughs> fish. Then we could keep the silver. No. <laughs> We will pay for more fish, we'll have more fish, and we'll come back and go, Look, we have so much fish, how good are we? For whatever silver she give you, we have triple the fish. How are we going to get the fish? I will throw knives at them until they die. <laughs> I mean, we could swim and try to catch them. How do either of you expect that to work? I don't really expect that. <laughs> we <laughs> not waste a knife either. Neither do I, but you know, it, it might be fun. Um, you are getting to the point now where to your left there's some large farmlands, and ahead you do see some uh, small shacks and houses, and just behind them there are some moors where the fishing boats pull in and out. Uh, you know this first one to be uh, Luke and his father's house. Oh, not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Should we uh, go straight to the source, to the fisherman? Mm, no. Mm, Do you want to maybe uh, avoid? I'd rather, I'd rather sidestep that if we could. As you wish. Yeah. Sure. Uh, well, we can go around. Uh, Do you have a problem with Luke and his father? Uh, only when I see them. How many do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Pull up the sweater and there's a ton of knives. <laughs> he, he pulls out the one that you gave him years ago. So I think I'm, I think I've still got this one. I'm good. You want an upgrade? Gotcha. <laughs> what kind of trouble do you? What kind of trouble does he cause you? Oh, no, he just he just he just doesn't he just doesn't like the way that all all my uh, uh, all of my everything just seems like it's uh, on the wind all the time. You know, he's that's he, the coolest thing about you. Why would he not like that? Uh, he thinks he thinks it will be cheating for sailing. How's that cheating? Honestly, I see uh, that as an advantage. Uh, tie, tie me up to a sail, and then you've got a constant wind in your sails. Uh, except they for the tying up, up part. Sail, I will cut you. Okay. Yeah, except for the tying up part. I, I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> but uh, he, he's tried at least twice. Maybe if he wasn't such a boring human, then maybe he would do this as well. Maybe, but but you know, I'd still rather not see him whilst he is a boring human. That's very because he's kind of a dick. You want me to cut him so he's not a boring human? That's probably not the best. I don't ideas. see how that would change him from being a boring human. Well, if he doesn't have a nose, he'll be an interesting-looking human. Sometimes you scare me. But he's I not, like that. I'll say, but he's not wrong. It keeps things very interesting. You know, if I change to look like Luke, <laughs> he will scare the crap out of me. <laughs> One morning, I think I'm going to do this. <laughs> Just hide in his bed while he's eating. That's creepy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you thought that was creepy. I'm going to be in his bed. Whoa. <laughs> Under his bed. <laughs> All right. That makes way more sense. <laughs> Uh, as you approach, you do see out the back, Luke is there. Um, just on the peripheral of your vision, he seems to be sharpening spears and fishing equipment. Oh, even more reason to sidestep this shit. <laughs> Shall we go around then? Yeah. I'll, right. I'll hold an action to say, what's up, jerk, if he looks at us. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, we'll do a uh, bit of a loopy loop then. Yeah. So the main road goes down, there are houses on either side, he's sort of around the back of the first house. He could see you as you're walking in, mm -hmm. um, if you're trying to avoid him, uh, stealth. Yeah, I guess so. No. Uh, That's pretty good. 18. Fuck off. Stealth is a 18. Yeah, so you both sort of duck to the side where there's uh, some fencing, uh, some horses running past. Um, you follow, but you are just staring at him to make sure he's not looking at you. And he <laughs> seems to feel it on the back. <laughs> Self-fulfilling prophecy with yep. a five. Typical kids. 
He looks up with his uh, green eyes and his sandy blonde hair swept across his face, quite long, and just looks at you. Mm-hmm. You, you know all those memes where it just, where it just says, run? <laughs> yeah. Run. Yeah. yeah. Well, he, kind of, he sees his eyes flick up to you and then he sees the other two with you. He sort of narrows his eyes for a second and then just looks back and goes back to his work. Oh, good. This is a good day. What's that matter? I've never seen a dwarf before. <laughs> <laughs> you can see him ignoring you, like pretending not to hear you. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just check the three knives on the back. And I haven't stolen any of them yet. Yep. I need you to have knives. Mm-hmm. Those um, are my special knives. And you make your way through. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so uh, we're, we're keeping an eye out for Brucho as well, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, keeping an eye out for Brucho as well. Yep. Yeah. Or well, signs of Brucho. Signs of mm-hmm. Brucho, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the, the chaos he wreaks. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as you head down, you go past several other small houses. Um, a lot of them are butted up against each other. You know the fishers live basically next to each other. They all leave early in the morning on their boats and take out to sea. Uh, eventually you come to the end where it starts opening up into the city proper to the large butchers on your left. Um, and ahead of that is the smith. You see the smoke is now billowing out. He's been in trade probably for some hours. Mm-hmm. Um, and you keep moving forward to past the stables and eventually you come to the docks. Um, there are quite a few people milling about at the docks. It's far busier than anywhere else in the town with boats pulling in and pulling out, uh, trading and selling fish and buying. Can I just duck into the smith for a second? Yes. <laughs> and ask him to sharpen the returning knife? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> right there, lad. Yes, uh, could you help me please? Uh, this I need this knife sharpened. You can uh, do it later if you want. Just, I really need it sharpened. It's very important. Uh, won't take me long, I'll do it now. Give it here. There you go. And I'll start to walk away. Mm-hmm. Takes it and starts sharpening it. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Run back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Minor illusion. Minor illusion. So the knife runs back and I'll just walk away. Presses next to you a little bit. You keep doing that. <laughs> laughing my head off. He's eventually gonna catch on to it that does that, you know. <laughs> know. After a moment you've left and you go, Boy! Hey boy, where are you gone? Boy! What are you talking about? Oh. I've lost your knife. What knife? What are you talking about, man? Just stares completely blankly at <laughs> The one you asked me to sharpen. I never asked you to sharpen a knife. Ah, oh, get out of here, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just run <laughs> laughing. <laughs> uh, you see Alpha still giggling running out. <laughs> it's, a, it's a full-grown dwarf <laughs> giggling and running. I love it. Uh, well, that happened. <laughs> oh, just as a side note, Arthur Seals basically all but stopped going into the town because he can get confused for you. <laughs> Everybody hates him. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, God. Let's go. But the butcher? Mm-hmm. Butcher? The, would they have fish? Presumably. Oh, I, I would assume the ducks. All right. We will go to the Either ducks. place could have fish. You know that the butcher generally trades in mutton, um, beef, Red meat. chicken. Um, Damn it. Fish are generally kept at the docks. <laughs> Good guess. <Yeah. laughs> Almost all red meat. All right, yeah. Well, shall we? <laughs> what a waste of a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> just drop my dice and go to twenty. Hold it for the next one. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you get to the docks. Uh, they're all bustling with trade. A lot of people climbing on and off to off of the ships and loading up cargo, unloading, uh, fixing nets and tying on and untying. Mm-hmm. Uh, fairly busy and you basically go unnoticed as you enter. Oh, let's go straight to where the fish are, get them fresh. Yeah. They've mm-hmm. just come in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also keep yeah, keeping an eye out for Brucho as well. Might call out a little bit. Brucho Um The sound's just swallowed up by the sound of trade here. Mm-hmm. Uh makes yeah. sense. <laughs> Uh, I think still here is there like a general, like a trading post, general store kind of place? Uh, yeah, it's right like, in the middle of the docks next uh, to the tavern. I assume we can't go to the tavern, but like for information, I figure a general post sort of trading post. It's like, oh, where do we buy fish? I mean, you're welcome in the tavern because you often run errands in there. Um, and, and not really and I'm out. sit around and drink. <laughs> 
They probably think I'm weird because I'm a dwarf that doesn't drink. Oh, you, you caused all <coughs> sorts of trouble a few years back um, until Arthur Sol and Ailey came to town together and said, if you ever see me in here, <laughs> don't believe it's me. If you ever see me on my own, <laughs> they tried the subtle approach and it didn't work, so they came and went to everyone. Uh, oh well. Um, but yeah, I'll just go to the uh, the trading post for information, just to ask if uh, anybody has seen our dog. Oh yeah, your dog. I don't know which one you're talking about, my it's boy. It's Rucho. He's very big. Mm. Can't it's say I have. It's like a scar on the back of his neck from a wolf. Mm. I mean, there's some strays around the docks. Around the docks. We are going that way already. Ah, oh, well, there we go. You're already here. What a great coincidence. <laughs> yes, seems that way. I might go to the tavern and have a beer drink. <laughs> I've always been, meant to ask you. What? Why do you look exactly like Alpha Seal? I am Alpha Seal. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Good luck with your dog. <laughs> have a good day. And I'll, like, tip a hat I don't wear. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, bye then. Alright, who's next, thank you? Ah, uh, yes, four pounds of rice? No worries, just a sec. Just just saw a boy that runs up and grabs it. As we're walking out the store, anything won't pinch. I mean, <laughs> general goods. Do we want anything? <laughs> Not like that, Not no. Moment. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Never like that. <clears throat> anyway, I won't look this time. We're on a mission. Uh, to the docks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you are well there. the docks. Yeah. The general store's in the middle. Uh, where people come and trade. Uh, on one side, you've got the tavern right on the front. Uh, the dock's not far from there. And you know around the corner is the baker and the brewmaster. Just beyond that, the school and the library. Mm-hmm. I've got a, I've got an idea. Um, here, look after this. I hand you the pouch of silver. Jump. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go jump up on a uh, on a roof or something and go see if I can see Brucho. Good idea. We'll stand here with money. Mm-hmm. Well, no, you got you guys go and get the fish. And, <laughs> All right, uh, get the fish. That's a good idea. And I'll go see if I can find Brucho. Oh, that makes Great way idea. more sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have fun, and I'll find a uh, find a tall building and try and uh, find somewhere to the climb. Probably the tall, so it is two stories. Yeah, uh, it is on the outskirts though, so you think there's probably a chance of seeing, but a better vantage point. Mm-hmm. Or you could also try the baker or the brewmaster it's a smaller roof but it has a better view probably across most of the markets but yeah I'll probably go for the, the bakery then yep. it smells well, better before we go <laughs> I'd like to teach Kip a song to vertically inspire him to help find Brucho sure you can add a d4 awesome to when you try and find him what kind of song are we looking at uh, it's a song about dogs you know this <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's called who let the dogs out no, no. <laughs> I composed it when I was uh, hanging out with a guy called Baha, and uh, <laughs> what a man! And you loved it, uh, yeah. As I'm uh, as I'm wandering to the bakery, and just <laughs> <laughs> he has got it, right? He has got it. And we'll, uh, we'll I don't think he'll ever lose it. Looking for the fish. Mm. Yep. So you head down to the the front forefront of the docks where there's a lot of stalls set up. A lot of people selling different types of fish, shouting out over each other to try and sell. Oh man, we are, gonna, we are so going to miss the trees for the forest. Best tilapia! Best tilapia right here! We've got salmon fresh! What type of fish were we meant to get, Raz? I have no idea. All of them. I want one of every fish! <laughs> Best price, we will take it! <laughs> uh, you see a couple look up and then ignore you and start showing. They all seem to have very specific fish and no one can fulfill your request. Damn it! <laughs> Jerks! <laughs> <laughs> How much silver do we have? How much silver do we have? Eight silver. How many kids are there? <laughs> Just enough. <laughs> no, like how many kids are in the orphanage? Uh, there's probably about thirty. All right. How many fish, in theory, would we want? I was wondering if the the most for our money. Yeah, that's that's kind of. Um, you do know job. that you very rarely eat meat. Um, living on the farm, it's all about uh, harmony with nature. So. Every now and then you'll be sent to pick up meat just mm. to bolster the <coughs> night a bit, but mm. it's pretty unusual. And you don't usually eat a lot of it when you do. Oh, do they specifically use the words bolster the diet? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Uh, that, that means we know to get a wide variety. Alpha still does anyway. Like, It'll <laughs> bolster your diet. <laughs> I still can't do Alpha Sil's accent. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Raz being Raz probably doesn't understand what that means. <laughs> um, oh, I'm just like contesting whether we get like a really nice fish. Mm. 
so everyone has like a nice meal or we have like, like say or eight tuna yeah or we get like a whole bunch of shitty fish so like yeah. lots of people get fish uh huh I don't know. Those I, think, I think I think I think a big nice fish is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, as you're looking around, you see a very scraggly looking man that's obviously come off a ship with a big oversized backpack with rods sticking out all over it. <laughs> looking around, big grey beard. That's a very, morning, boys. It's a very nice beard, sir. Ah, much thank like, you. Much like my own. No, ah, I'm yes, very sir. Nice I see you're a fine beard connoisseur too. <laughs> Not really understand how beards work. Clawing out of it. <laughs> He's kind of doing the same thing. <laughs> Uh, we uh, we need some fish advice. Do you know your rods? Ah, you know? yes. What is the nicest fish for a rich man like myself to eat? Oh, well, I always think the nicest fish is the one you catch yourself. Well, I offered to go catch fish, but everyone said, no, don't do that. You'll lose all your <sighs> knives. Don't listen to them. What? <laughs> 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 what is the tastiest fish? Oh, I'm partial to bream. Bream? Yes. yes. Could you direct me to the, uh, a friend of yours who sells this? Oh, yeah. Well, if you... Mm, oh, don't go to him. I often have parasites. Uh, mm, maybe... Mm, why don't you just go catch it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> May I buy a rod from you? Yes. That's what I'm here for. I have one silver to spend. He's reaching for the rods and sort of stops and looks at you. Or I can trade you a knife. Is that a good knife? I lift up my jumper. <laughs> <laughs> There's 21 knives to choose from. I've assorted variety. Of Any of these. <laughs> Is that thinking music? I will give you three of these knives for one fishing rod. That's a good deal. Five knives. Four of these knives. And I will smile. <laughs> Good deal! <laughs> <laughs> I give him the four shittiest knives. <laughs> he did not specify which knife. He pulls a very old looking rod off his back and hands it to you. Thank you! And when I give him the knives, I'm gonna try and like slip one of them back at least. Uh, slide of hand. Oh boy. <laughs> not so good. Uh, that yeah. is a seven. With his two on perception. <laughs> <laughs> I like fumble and drop the knife and take it back openly in front of him. <laughs> he's busy as he's handing the rod, like checking the line on it, making sure it's all good. God damn. You... Uh, don't forget to get some bait while you're here. I will not. What is bait, Raz? I don't know, but it rings a bell. Ah, oh, alright, I will go find a bell and there will be bait <laughs> ringing it. <laughs> I... <laughs> I will... Have you never been fishing? No, I've always been Ruse. Oh, well. <laughs> this seems to make perfect sense to him. As he freezes his pocket and hands you a small brown bag, and as you take it, you feel it squirming in your fingers. Oh, thank you. I will give you another knife, and I'll give him the other knife that I dropped. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Good deal. Great trade. He takes him off and just stabs it into his backpack. Oh, he fuck me too. He stabbed his back. I was like, yeah, well, okay. Yeah. A blood hunter, eh? <laughs> <laughs> then he draws a long sword. <laughs> No, it's straight to his backpack. You hear yep. something puncture and shatter a little bit. So, oh, oh well. Good luck. And to you, sir. Mm. May the fish be biting. And the uh, odds be ever in your favour. <laughs> <laughs> I will take the fishing rod. <laughs> we are going to go fishing. You are going to go fishing. What? You are better, <laughs> you are way better hunter than me. I will sit by and sing your songs. <laughs> Damn it, that sounds tempting. <laughs> I don't even have to spend any. I don't have to deal with people with it. Fine. Yes. No, but, Done. You, but you do owe me four knives. <laughs> How about this one that you gave me like years ago? I don't want that knife. Damn it. I do want that knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, good deal. You owe me three knives. Alright, let's go to the dock and start that's, fishing off the edge. That's right up the IOU. <laughs> uh, so, in the meantime, you've headed mm. over to the bakery. Yep. Um, you get there, it's a fairly sturdy building, but mm. there's no clear way up. Hmm. Um, you think if you've got enough of a run-up, um, and you time it just right, you might be able to kick off the side, grab the ledge, and pull yourself up. Which mm. would be an athletics check, some might say. <laughs> or, couldn't argue in acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> if you front it. Yeah. Cool. If he does right, off a handstand. Parkour, <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. You do notice there's a couple of loose crates mm. and barrels around. You sort of stack them together so you can... Sort of do a, like a step, multiple step up. Yep. All right. Yep. I'll kick off one to the other and then push yourself up to grab it. I'll uh, oh see if I can make that then. Oh boy. 
Remember if you need it. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> we'll see. That D4 is floating. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll use the D4. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Glorious. That Don't is... get to add your proficiency. Yeah, device. yeah, yeah. So that is a grand total of... 14. Ooh, so close. Mm. <laughs> you kick off, get to the other one, you push yourself up and you grab with your oh, fingertips yeah. and just as you're about to pull yourself up, you feel them slip and you slide back down the wall. <sighs> oh, the song was for dog hunting, not for mm. climbing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try it again. <laughs> oh boy. This time, I, this time what I'll do is I will, um, instead of making it like a jump to jump, I'll make it sort of like a sort of one here, one here, and then a larger sort of jump onto it. So sort of a uh, a longer runner, point. yeah, launch yep. point, yeah, and see if I can make that. Same thing. Yep. No worries. That's a lot better. That is a sixteen. DC fifteen. You pass. Nice. <laughs> uh, you, nice. Your fingers yep. grab on this time. You know it's about to get slippery, so you throw your elbow up and clamber <laughs> over. <sighs> Whoa, my shoulder hurts. Uh, I'll climb up. Roll an initiative for me quickly. Sure. <laughs> the 11 year old is developing Versailles. Bruto, um, Bruto's on the roof. <laughs> 11. <laughs> yeah. 11. Uh, you see, after kicking and clambering, the mm. baker sort of runs outside looking around, looks up and spots you on the roof. <laughs> Oi! What are you doing up there? Uh, looking for a dog. And I'll just drop down. <laughs> I'll just drop flat under the roof. What <laughs> <laughs> the nine health? What is even going on around here these days, honestly? Ding! Bell as he turns around and goes back inside. I love that I reverted to his child voice for that. (laughs) Yep. Stand up again. Well, that was... That was close. Right. And I'll start looking around for Brucho. Uh, yep, perception check. No worries. Or investigation, up to you. Uh, I will definitely choose perception. Natural 20! (laughs) He's on the roof. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a panting next to you. <laughs> um, so you start looking around, scanning the crowds. Um, it's fairly uh, busy here, a lot of people moving around. You just don't see any sign of him. Um, mm. You sort of look for a couple of minutes. Uh, you're about to give up, and you just see a flash of tail moving through the crowd. Uh, it seems to be fairly near the carpenter, mm-hmm. um, past all of the stalls that are set up. Hmm. Um, and as you continue to watch with your nat 20, um, mm-hmm. you do see behind the crowd, you see Brucho emerge near the carpenter and walk around the back to where the uh, forest is planted. What's he uh, doing? Is he like sniffing the ground and searching for something? Uh, he seems quite happy. His tongue hanging out, his tail's wagging just Long. slowly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Takes mm-hmm. time a good old time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Do I see these two? <laughs> with your nat 20, sure. Stare <laughs> <short. laughs> down at the docks with some very strange looking man with a giant backpack with fishing rods sticking all out from it. Swapping. So, <laughs> nice. Ruse, hold out a knife and drops it, looks around, grabs it, puts it in his pocket quickly. Put the hand on my nose, I'm still there, cool. Then I'll uh, try and quietly make my way off the roof. Yeah. I mean, they know you're drop, there now. Drop down and just scamper towards these two. Yep, so you're looking over the fishing rod and you see Kip show up. I found Brucho! I found a fishing rod. We are going to go fishing. Uh, we don't have to talk to anyone. But after we get Brucho, because I miss my doggy. We should. Uh, um, well, Brucho went, he was behind the carpenter, he went to the uh, forest. Let's go. So, do yeah. we want. So, Brucho and then fish? Well, we have to have the fish as fresh as possible. So, we do the fish at the end, we get it back fresh. Oh, All right. No this is a good plan. You still, got the, the uh, you still got the patch of silver? Yes. Excellent. Let's go get Bruto. I assume. <laughs> and he owes me three knives. Let's go That's get true. Bruto. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Right. So you push your way through the bustling crowd, um, being quite a bit smaller than most of them, it's easy to slip through and mm-hmm. wind your way through. Uh, it takes a couple of minutes before you emerge, uh, and you see the large wooden building that is the carpenters. Mm-hmm. Um, you hear a saw going inside. Uh, you see sawdust mm-hmm. spraying out the front doors. Shall we uh, slip around? Excuse me, sir! (laughs) (laughs) Excuse me, sir! (laughs) It's very good at timing that. (laughs) Uh, He looks up and he seems to be wearing something over his ears to protect them. Uh, Wearing some large gloves and he's sort of taking pieces of timber, throwing them down. Uh, We'll walk around, but I want to make sure he's aware that we're there. Like, just waving if he's looking as we go around. 
So he's not going to throw timber at us by accident. <laughs> Oh, I think he's going to do that. Um, Brucho's going around the outside of the building, so you don't need to go through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Follow. Yeah, we'll go, go around, around first. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So Where you... did you see him? Oh, uh, well, he he went this way. Uh, so once we get round to the back, just Brucho. Oh boy. You here, boy? <laughs> uh, do I get the track again? Hmm. Um, you do see uh, it's spring. You do see the soft green grass has some impressions that are fairly fresh, already rising. Mm-hmm. They look like large dog prints. Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll. Survival, yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. Can I assist? Are <laughs> uh, you trained in that? Uh, survival? No, I'm not. Is Ruse? Nope. Uh, no. <laughs> not a wisdom right. boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unfortunately, right now, I'm not <clears throat> as so uh, eight. Eight? Yeah, you can see the paw prints. It's hard to really see where they go. Mm. Um, they definitely go deeper into the forest past the... Uh, the workshed that's off to the side. Mm, we, we might figure out more by just following along this way. Could I sure. investigate the footprints? Uh, yeah, sure. No. <laughs> uh, that is a seven. Um, I mean, you're sure they're dog prints. Um, you did just see Brucho come here, so it all makes sense. And you see sort of patches that look like they are leading to the forest. You're not 100% sure Can I s- where so they go. Well, you said go to the forest, and I trust you. Can I see movement Fine. in the forest, perhaps? Uh, uh, you see lots of birds flitting yeah. about. Every now and then you see a squirrel sort of darting around. No um, dog it's... shapes. No dog shapes at this point. <clears throat> no worries. The forest is fairly alive in spring, though. Mm-hmm. Well, shall we uh, go for a little wander? Would we have developed like a whistle to get Bridget's attention? Uh, yeah, I mean, just a general whistle. He knows it's you generally worked back at the orphanage. Can we attempt that? Sure. I'll I'll attempt. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll attempt that as well. Uh, that's better. Uh, so it's not that it's uh, 16 16 uh, yep so you let the whistle out um, nothing you just hear an echo and then in the distance you do hear like a, a bark response All right. well I trust you Raz let's, let's uh, follow your direction alright let's I mean, go we, we, we got a bark he's that away we know that now <laughs> let's get going then <clears throat> um, so the bark you heard sort of you went around the workshop it sounded mm-hmm. like it was coming from um, the west which mm. is sort of back around the back of the village towards where the um, Smith and the Butcher were again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That away. Probably, Probably not one. taking good knowledge of the fact that I've got a fishing rod sticking out of my back at this point, but like, I'm heading around. Oh, I'll just carry my hand. Makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, so you start mm-hmm. walking through. Uh, try survival again. Uh, that's slightly better. 13. Uh, yep, yeah, so you... You sort of try and find these footprints, you just can't, but you do know where the sound came from. Mm-hmm. Um, you start working your way through. Oh man, everything's DC 15. <laughs> <laughs> um, everything's just a little hard for us to do. That's DC 14. Brucho, Brucho. Hmm. Brucho, Brucho, Brucho. Brucho. I want to try that whistle again, except that I know it's a performance check. <laughs> I mean, I'll try it. <laughs> Go for it. Shall I? Yeah, sure. No worries. For me, that's a 16. Uh, yep. Yeah. A delay, and then you hear a little yap. It seems to be coming from further off again. Oh, that know. way, maybe? Yeah, let's, let's stop trying to track and just go for speed at this point. <laughs> uh, so, at the west side of the forest, you come to a clearing where the trees have been cut for the sawing. Mm-hmm. Um, and you do see, sort of off in the distance, the back of the butcher's shop um, with some live cattle in the back. Um, and... Far off in the distance, you see the houses, and you do see the shape of a dog walking around the back of the houses. Rucho, get back here! <laughs> I'm gonna take off running and just go to see if I can catch up to him. Uh, yep. Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. I'll do like a s- s- very pathetic dwarven effort at running. He's like, uh, you lead him back here, yes? Yeah. <laughs> him back towards us. We'll uh, round him up. Um, so by the time you catch up to him, it takes a while because as soon as you start running, he's trotting off. Uh, he hears your footsteps turn around, thinks it's again, and starts running. Um, mm-hmm. You do eventually catch up to him as he hits the fence of one of the farmlands. Mm-hmm. Um, and you notice that he's digging, trying to get under a hole that he's created. Brucho, um, what are you doing, boy? He looks up at you, his nose just caked in mud. Keeps digging. Trying to get a source of food with lots of it. Ah, shouldn't be doing that. I'll try it, sort of go up and pull him back a little bit. Uh, and yep. Calm him down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not too hard. You grab him and yeah. sort of drag him back by his hind legs. <laughs> gets pulled backwards out. <laughs> Come on, boy! Digging it, huff. <laughs> Come on, you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do with you? You've been apparently causing a bit of a ruckus. What have you been doing? Digging holes and stuff? 
<laughs> he sort of goes back over and starts trying to dig under the fence again. I'm gonna like stand in the hole so he can't, <laughs> so he can't um, dig. He sort of puts his head against your legs and just tries to push and start digging around them. Rocho, stop that! I wonder why I assume we catch up. No. Yep. I wish Alpha still had longer legs. <laughs> No Could, double arena. Like, <laughs> couldn't you just change into someone who has regular legs? Like, not sure. in public. Everyone will figure it out. They know, I, they know I'm not actually adversarial, but they don't know what I am. <laughs> yeah, Raz is sort of win. Raz sort of looks around. And is like I, I don't see anybody around here. Yeah. I'll change into Chef. Yeah. <laughs> That's what no, I was angled towards. A lot taller. <laughs> Sh- well, um, we we got Brucho now. Um, hey, Brucho, it's me, Chef. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, it's me, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> I feed you all the time. Does someone want to hold on to him for a second? I'll give him a big hug. <laughs> I'm gonna like look at the hole and look under and just see what it is he was going for. Uh, roll investigation or insight. Sure, I'll go an insight check. Uh, that's gonna be a twelve. Um, it's hard to see, but I mean, you do see a chicken coop not far away. Mm-hmm. Um, fairly close where he's digging. Mm-hmm. And as you sort of look at it, you notice there's a few other, what look like recently dug holes that have been patched up and filled in with rocks in the soil. Hmm. Uh, like, what do you see? Out. What do you see? Uh, I think he was going for the chickens. Ah, Bruto, it's fish this week, not chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> kind so of not a problem. Get down. Let's, how about we take him back and then come back and get fish? Because if he's, if we... Leave him. If we leave him, he's probably going to go under and try to get to the chickens again. Remember when he wanted to do something and we stopped him from doing the thing? He got very grumpy. What if we help him do the thing and then go, hey, now we help you, come back home. Yeah, but you would be eating the chickens. Oh, That's so not if, a good thing. If, if the thing the chickens. He wants to look at the chickens. He's a puppy dog. No, he wants, he wants to eat them, I reckon. <laughs> well, we will watch and find out. <laughs> Let's <laughs> gonna help him dig the hole. I can sure. I, I, I stop Rucho from digging you, you the hole. I'm a big old dragon <laughs> yeah. arms. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say right, Rucho. So, I though. think at this point you're all gonna have to tell me what you're doing to see how this pans out. All right, I'm stopping Brucho and just trying to convince you to stop digging. <laughs> what? It would be fun. But it, but no, because if they get angry and then they, you know, they're, they're not gonna, they're not gonna appreciate what. Yeah, they're not going to appreciate having their chickens taken away from. I will I'm, tell them it was a wolf. I'm, <laughs> as you're I'm, stopping Brucho, um, and you're digging, he just goes completely stiff and just stares at you with his tail wagging frantically, looking very excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm willing to watch this play out on account of the fact that I can levitate Brucho if anything goes wrong. <laughs> dig, 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 so dig, dig, like, dig, at this point, it's like, ah, you know what? I have an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> yeah, with your giant dragonborn arms, you've dug a hole big enough for Bruce to get under. He's trying to skirt around. No, 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 no. first. <laughs> as soon as he's out of sight, I'm just no, and I'm going to start trying to lead Bruto away. No, I kept just, just, just. Let no, this, let this I, I, I don't think this is a good idea. Roll a strength check. I mean, it sure. might not be, but for starters, Chev will get blamed. That's another good point. But Nine. S- but so will both of us. Yeah, so you start pulling away, and he digs his feet and just. Squirms me, just breaks loose and just darts and just uh, straight under the hole. That's not good. I'm gonna go I'll over just... and stand by the chicken coop. I'll, 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 I'll just make him fly if anything goes wrong. He trots up to the chicken coop and starts sniffing, and you see them sort of fluffing their feathers up and clucking quite loudly. Now, don't eat them so that it looks like I did the right thing. He starts digging into the coop. If you you get... Hey, you! Reason. No, come on! <laughs> I call out, I just call out, if you get caught, it's your fault. No, it's Chef's fault. And I'll, <laughs> I'll grab him by the collar and start to pull him back. Myself. I mean, I'm... Uh, strength uh, check. Uh, he does uh, not want to go. I'm going under what's happening. Ooh, nice. 19. He's putting up a hell of a struggle, but you're managing to drag him back inch by inch through the freshly churned soil yep. that's been repatched. What? What's... Back at them. What's going on? Also, I'm hiding. Well, at I, this thought, point. Like, I, thought, I, I don't want to be part of this. There is a free line right there. I thought he was doing yeah, something else, but no, he is, uh, he's just trying to eat chickens. No. Uh, <laughs> Kip was right. But <laughs> okay. okay, then hang on. I'll anyway, just, uh, Brucho, get the fuck through there. I'll just, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just levitate the dog, then. It's fine. Right. Yeah, I'll, I would like to use my, uh, my air genasi uh, levitate on the dog. <laughs> Looks confused to us and then looks at you and starts barking frantically and angrily. Yeah, I'm just going to lead it by the collar as it was just floating through the air. It's like, come on, you're not eating chickens today. So you're trying to pull him by the collar? Uh-huh. 
Uh, make a dick save. Oh boy, <laughs> he's gonna try to bite me. Uh, I, I would say that's cock. I mean, look, I would like to say that's cock as well, but I'm not going to because it's a ten. <laughs> uh, yep, you trample him. He, he does. He turns around and bites your arm. Oh come on! <laughs> um, he's obviously not trying to hurt you. He does one point of damage, but he's just trying to release your grip. Nob. Can I like yell at him to make him like listen to us? Uh, roll an insight for me. <laughs> that was about as cocky as super cocky. Cocky. <laughs> yep. uh, Insight, still not great. Uh, 12. Um, you've been with Brujo for years now. Mm-hmm. If he's acting like this, there's something that's bothering him that he's trying to get something done. Something important to him. Are you trying to eat that chicken? <laughs> <laughs> because you cannot eat the chicken. He's still growling at you and <laughs> trying to wriggle out. I, I figure by now I figured out that I can uh, uh, move things with leather tape without having to actually touch it. And let's, uh, let's, how about we go and return Brucho and let him know what was happening. Yeah. And then he'll uh, get fish. How long does your levitation last for? An hour. An hour? Mm-hmm. Thank you for knowing that offhand. <laughs> You'll probably, probably be able to get back to the orphanage within the hour. Yeah. That's a good idea. I like that idea. Let's do that. Um... Yep, so you head around the back of the farm. There's a small gap between the house and the farmland where the mm-hmm. fences are that you can mm-hmm. sort of squeeze through and it goes back to the main path. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going along the fence. Uh, you still hear some work being done at the back of the fisherman's house. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, no, now we've got a floating dog with us. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> before we nick off, can I just have a look at the chicken coop and see if there's anything going on there uh, yeah. as to why he was going for it other than chickens? Uh, with a. Not so great. Ten? Um, the only thing you notice is there's not that many chickens in there. Right. I'm just considering whether we'd like to talk to the farmer and see if he's lost. Can you like hide Brucho for a bit? Uh, I could probably do that. There, again, there is so a tree line right the there. House, there is yeah. a very thick forest. Is very... It's the same one where... Well, I can, I can just um, take him back yeah. and then come back to you guys. Yeah, but uh, uh, after he gets out of range of levitate, that kind of becomes a strength check on you, buddy. Or are you take him back and yes. you say, <laughs> "Yes, I like this idea." No, uh, it means I. It means I get to talk to less people. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you if you want to talk. If you want to talk to him, I'm happy to talk to him. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm also happy to talk. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I'll just take the dog home. All right, so you take the dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will. Uh, so we'll stay and try work this out. Yeah. 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 Sure. Do we want to perhaps go around the front and knock on the door, or <laughs> we should not knock on the back door? <laughs> that's the wrong message. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Sneak around the front and knock on the front door. Uh, yep, so you go around the front, um, past the wooden arches, and head up the main driveway. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a cart parked by the front. Um, it's a fairly simple farmhouse. Just knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> the authenticity. Um sort of quiet for a moment then the door swings open there's a woman standing there wearing an apron hello yes. can I help you Arthur oh. what are you doing here um, I've come to help you with a problem I uh, look is oh, a oh. Oh. ruse <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we found uh, we found our dog Brucho um, he was in, trying to get into your backyard and we thought we'd oh it's him Oh, y- yes. Yeah, so... Kip, you are the worst person for this. <laughs> so we, uh, don't, we just... Don't be mean immediately. It was a wolf, by the way. <laughs> it's dug under the fence with a wolf. We were just wondering... Uh, like, no, Brucho was trying to stop him. Brucho doesn't normally act like that. And he when he does, it's because he's trying to do something specific and in particular. And he, it's not like, like him... kill our chickens. Well, mean. it's not like him to do that. So I was just wondering, perhaps maybe it might be something else. I think you'll find if dogs are trying to kill chickens, it's for the sake of sport. Yeah, well, at the same time, it's just not like him. It hasn't never really been like this before. I won't tell my husband, but you make sure he doesn't do it anymore. I've already lost five. I will do you a deal. Uh, I next... don't want any knives. <laughs> <laughs> You've uh, played knifey knifey before. <laughs> I will do you a deal. Next time we need to get uh, meat, we will come straight to you and we will buy your chickens. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what my part in this deal is. Uh, you get money for the chickens rather than dead chickens? Sure. Okay. Is that not a better deal? I mean, I'm no adult, but... <laughs> we don't have money to spare now. We use them for the eggs. Okay, well, when we need eggs, 
No, we have our own chickens. Yes. <sighs> well, I wanted to help you, but you've made this very hard for me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for your apology. <laughs> We just, um, we just thought maybe, maybe we'd just try and sort this thing out. Oh, well, I appreciate it, but please just, please stop him from getting in. All right, well, you got it. He is flying at the moment. We are taking him back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's being taken back now. I'm going to go fishing. Oh, good luck. Thank you very much. If you catch anything good, bring us some then. That's a very good, de- that works. I will bring you a fish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Off you go. Make sure that dog stays away, okay? Uh, okay. Hey, Brujo, don't come here again. <laughs> I'll just kind of call out in the direction that Brujo went. <laughs> you see her sort of smile as she closes the door behind you and heads back. You know what? We should probably go with Brujo unless there is trouble and he breaks free and Raz is in trouble. That's probably a good idea. Should we try and catch up? You are a lot faster than me, but I will uh, run in my dragonborn form. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I assume at some point I changed back to Alpha Silver. That's why she thought it was Alpha Silver. So I'll switch. I'll like yes, fair. hide somewhere and switch back to Dragonborn, and then. All right, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> shall Dragonborn and Alpha Silver's clothes. <laughs> All right. Drew still wearing the <laughs> tiny dwarven. Try to catch up to you. Yeah. Now, just let me know this levitation class feature. How exactly does it work? Is there any save for it? Uh, I am or not. Can you just go to like a anything go floating now. I, yeah, I am not clear on how it works on unwilling targets. It's yes. there may have been some sort of ch- uh, save that Brucho was supposed to make. I am yeah. not clear. Because um, like the because we'll looked up. Yeah, because yeah. the racial feature does just say you can cast levitate. So that's the one. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> so you head back around and you see uh, Brucho floating, looking <laughs> half defeated, half furious. <laughs> I mean, rightfully so. Sort of spinning in a slow circle every time he sees you. An unwilling creature that succeeds on a constitution saving throw is unaffected. Oh, feck. Is there a, is there a save afterwards or is it just... Um, it once is... You're up, you're up. Based on what I'm reading, once you're up, you're up. Uh, neat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Uh, I can see it doesn't say anything, about, it doesn't oh, say anything about repeating a save. Yeah, it's right. just the initial one, I believe. Um... Yeah, well, let's just catch up and yeah, we'll go together. Mm-hmm. Make um, sure so if you're hiding in the forest at the back, you could quite easily, you know, you can skirt through the forest. That mm-hmm. takes you straight down to the river. Yep. Um, which takes you over the bridge and back to the orphanage. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Do that. Try to catch up to you. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. What uh, <laughs> what what they say? Uh, they said uh, it was definitely someone else and a wolf. No, it's not true. They uh, know it is brutal now because Kip told them the whole de- whole deal. <laughs> He right. gave up the ghost. I mean, I, I, I do have to wonder why he was trying to break into somebody else's chicken coop. I mean, we have chickens. Yes, but... If uh, he wanted chickens, why wouldn't he just go for ours? I do not know this. I am not brutal. Yeah, maybe it's um, a chicken with a golden egg. Anyone that lives there could put a roll inside on that one. Sure. <laughs> That's not awful. 13. Also not awful. 14. Yours is going to be better. 17. <laughs> 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 Uh, as you voice the question, all yeah. of you at the same time go, oh, right, his job is to protect the farm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so he's, he's trying to leave everything on the farm alone and protect it. Mm. Oh, so he's protecting our farm from the chickens. These are dangerous chickens. He was doing a favor by killing these chickens. Don't roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling for something that... I'm rolling for something that I... I you're horribly wrong. I, I'm, I'm rolling for something that I want to say, but I'm not sure if he would pick up on it. Okay, but... Because I have an idea. <laughs> but how would killing those chickens protect our farm? I don't know. I'm just have talking while we were... Have we lost there? any chickens recently? No. Oh, okay. It seems very odd, but... Eh. Maybe... I don't know... Maybe they took our chickens and she, Brucho was just trying to get them back. Maybe Brucho was trying to get into the coop to protect these chickens from the wolf. He likes to be close to what he's protecting. I don't know. Brucho has been around to see you again. Good boy. I'll say it's, it's all a rather moot point whilst he's floating in midair like that. You should probably get him back before he uh, before yeah. he no longer floats. Yeah, get him back in range of Alpha Silver to hold on to him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell, tell Alpha Silver what's going on. Show him I got a fishing rod. Yeah, May- maybe for he'll. Free. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for free and one silver piece. According to them, it was free, and according to you, it's three knives. 
So let's take him back. Yes. Yeah. I'll keep like poking him with the fishing rod to try and straighten him up. <laughs> <laughs> so he stops. You had to keep it. Hold him and <laughs> carry it. No, no, no. Just, I'm not going to hook him. I'm just going to, like, every time he starts spinning, I'll poke him to straighten him up so you can see where he's gone. <laughs> and he's not as too jarring. Yeah. Just so it doesn't look completely weird from everyone else's perspective as well, I'll float him like just above the ground. <laughs> so you can still like get his paws on the floor? Yeah. No, don't do that. He'll it's run like away. Don't, don't <laughs> run away. lower them into water. They That's just... exactly what he's doing. If you lower him to the ground, he's like trying to run. Yeah. Without working. <laughs> if only I could talk to the animals and yeah. walk with the animals. Yeah, anyway, let's uh, get back to the farm. Mm. Uh, so you've done this walk almost every day of your life going to the village um, mm-hmm. and you head back around with no issues through the sides of the forest oh um, i <laughs> you emerge near the shed um, call out for alpha seal and you get no response um, oh i <laughs> roll an insight uh, 11 he can definitely hear you from there <laughs> <laughs> I have a brucho no response at all <laughs> You see two halfling children look up from the cabbages. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we, have a, we have a floating brooch, huh? Can you go and get that fossil for us? Okay. Or Elliot, someone. It's get fine. an adult. They both look at each other and... No, not... Oh, I'm, I'm Chef at the time. Okay, <laughs> good. I was going to say, if I'm Alpha, so I ask them to get Alpha, so they confuse the shit out. <laughs> <laughs> go get an adult. Or a, like someone like my height. Or Alpha Seal. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you they both take each other's hands and skip inside you have wonderful friends <laughs> they are pretty good aren't they I was talking about me and Rats. <laughs> <laughs> but also they're they good <laughs> they, are, they are good they are good <laughs> um, you hear inside a low rumbling voice grumbling and complaining and <laughs> Ailey scolding and a resigned sigh from Ailey and she walks up front hello boys hello you we, told us to get Brucho we did it we found oh, him good Come on, boy. He's still trying to stick on it. Come on. Uh, he, he was kind of trying to get into somebody's chicken coop. Oh. He has eaten five chickens. What? Oh, so, now I have so to give all the silver to pay them back for the chickens. That's, oh, that's I mean, terrible. Look, no, that's... that's <laughs> Brucho, come no. here. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I will drop levitation at this point if it's still running. Yep. Brucho takes a couple of steps as he falls down and then turns and just bolts back. I have dive oh. on him. I dive on uh, him to stop him. Yes. <laughs> sure. Nine. <laughs> With modifiers? Yep. He <laughs> slips underneath. Uh, uh, you yeah. grab his hind legs and tail and they just sort of slip out of your hands. Uh, hey, well, that. Brucho! Brucho, come back! He just disappears, charging for the forest. Well, at least we know exactly where he is going. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, we will be right back. Was like, do, you, do you have any idea why you might be trying to get into a chicken coop? Other than, you know, the obvious. Uh, I, I think it's to kill the chickens. <laughs> what? We haven't... We haven't. He's a god dog! Why is nobody suspecting this? Alvazil, why do you not feed the Grucho? <laughs> he is eating chickens! Ailey, You're back we... already, piss off! <laughs> Ailey, have we lost anything from the... From the house or anything? From the farms? Oh, uh, well, yes. What? Yes. Come in, no one else can know about this. All the knives seem to be missing. <laughs> oh, Chev did that. <laughs> Look, I am Chev, and I lift up the jumper. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's me, Chev. I am the knife culprit. And I just turn and run. <laughs> I'm going to get you, Chev. <laughs> yes, you won't. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we, should, we should probably go get some fish. I've already run. Yeah, <laughs> With fishing rod in hand. Wait, no, we're fishing rod. Damn it! <laughs> I need that. Well, we should probably go get those fish. Yeah, that, that would be considering you asked us to do that. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> what Still, have you been doing all morning then? Oh, well, finding Brucho. Oh, genuinely chasing Brucho. Oh, yeah. I think he's gone again. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, starting to see the futility of our actions at this point. Well, at least now we have a good idea of where he might be. Well, yes. So it means somebody else who can actually deal with him can go and get him. Yes. Uh, like, say, Alpha Sil, for example. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ruto! Ruto, back! Running away. <laughs> Chasing him for some time. Yes. Yep. Me well, too. We should probably go get Ruto. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm going to chase... I'm going to chase Chev and get a fishing rod. 
We should get Rose and get go get fish. Well, do you want to get him? I'll Both just... of you would catch up to me very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to get yeah. him, I'll go into town and I'll see if I can I can wrangle us some fish with that silver. You still got it? Are we still within earshot of... Uh, no, you've been running for a while. <laughs> in that case, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the silver pouch, put it back in my vest. And, you uh, do that. Uh, meet me at the docks. Yeah, all right. Can do. I'll just go to the docks. <laughs> Are you going for the docks? Are you going for the fishing area? Are you going for Brucho? I'm going to the farm because I figure an adult can help me stop Brucho. Or at least they can be well aware that it's happening. So it's like, I'm not leading him back to... Yeah. I don't want to get in trouble for it and I'm still going to be chef. <laughs> yep. Uh, roll a d20. Eight. Yep. Uh, so you're chasing Brucho for a while. You see him disappear after some time. You keep chasing. You know exactly where he's going. Mm-hmm. Um, you end up panting emerge from the forest to see him scurrying back under with a dead chicken hanging from his mouth. Oh, for God's sake! Would you? Come here, no! No! <laughs> Is he coming to me or yes. away? Yes. <laughs> like, but he sort of stops about 30 feet away and just sits and looks at you, pointing at the floor. Throw! <laughs> dead chicken! <laughs> Drop chicken! No! I will sort of get the adult. Turn up and start backing away. <laughs> Pull up the jumper. Throw up the chicken! <laughs> <laughs> he barks angrily at you. In doing so, drops the chicken by accident. <laughs> and then turns and runs. <laughs> Is he running away from home? Uh, he seems to be running into the forest, sort of where you first saw him enter it. Yeah, God damn it. Sorry, farmer lady! Go, 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 gotta give chase. You lost another chicken! <laughs> Luckily, you're well out of voice right now. <laughs> <laughs> out of earshot. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I'll chase him. Yeah. Um, would they, Would I have any idea, one, that Raz is following me, or two, that he is close? Um, I'll say I'm probably not making it um, a particular. Like, I'm probably not trying to hide that fact. Yeah. <laughs> so you probably know it. At this point, where you're running sort of along the forest line, um, he would see you. Before you disappear back into the forest, I was gonna say I'll, I'll like leave obvious track. Like I'll make sure I have big footsteps stuff to make yeah. obvious where I'm going. <laughs> and I'm turning something to show. Big old dragonborn chef. Yeah, I'm thudding around. Yeah, turn um, turning to chef. Turn to Alpha Silver. Back into chef. <laughs> so you can change up the footprints. footprints. Yeah, oh, it's every different race. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, Sator footsteps. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll run off with the big old dragonborn feet and try and chase him down. Uh, yep, uh, survival bird voyage. Alright, that's copied. That is a 12, and that is a 15, that's all straights. Yep, 15. Cool. Uh, so you chase him, you lose him through the trees every now and then, but sort of manage to catch up with him. Um, you see him eventually disappear into what looks like a very overgrown, very small wooden, looks like probably some people kept their firewood mm-hmm. some time ago, uh, covered in moss and overgrown. And he sort of disappears into a semi collapsed doorway. Mm-hmm. Brujo, I told you to drop the chicken. You picked up the chicken and ran. Get out here now. I am very tired from running. I don't want to do any more of this. <laughs> now you see him sort of crawl out from under the gap and sit there. Cock his head at you. Brucho, this is not a comfortable body. Don't make me do this. Now, where is that chicken? That does not answer my question. <laughs> and then start, walk, start walking around so I like, see where this entrance is that he walked out of. Yep. Um, he's basically sitting in front of it. Um, it's an old doorway that's uh, collapsed, um, but there's still, you know, you can still get into it. Very dark inside. I, I think he's defending it. Just out of guess. Oh, where did you come from? <laughs> <laughs> out of nowhere. Uh, Bruto, why you bring chicken to this? Well, if you must. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm asking a dog questions. <laughs> But kids ask dog questions. Yes, they do. I ask dog questions. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I'll just keep circling around to look at like where he's popped out of. Yep, he's. Uh, you circle around and you just see that collapsed doorway. It's quite dark inside. It's probably the room behind the woodshed is probably about uh, eight foot deep by about twelve feet across. Yeah, it's dark. You say. Well, um, change back to Alpha Seal so that he's more comfortable with me, and then I'll just sit down on the ground and like beckon for him to come over and pat the ground and stuff. Uh, he sits there. Roll a perception check for me. I was say, could that, dark, mm. could that darkness be penetrated by, say, dark vision? Uh, 15. Um, as you're sitting there gesturing him, you just see the head of another dog sort of pop up behind him and then disappear back into the darkness. Big or little? Uh, a bit smaller than him. Okay. 
Rocho, do you have friends? <laughs> come on, come here. <laughs> I like pretend I've got you know like you pretend you've got food and dogs come over for it even though this, this one is, doesn't. It's a magic <laughs> oh, I'll just like pretend I've got food. Come on. D- d- does he have family? Maybe. Brucho, bring all of them out here, please. <laughs> come all, on. All of the chickens. <laughs> you bring them out here. I go in. <laughs> he doesn't seem to understand what you're saying. I know. Damn. <laughs> all right, I'm going in. I'll get up and I'll start walking towards the opening. Sounds reasonable. But like pat him on the way through. Yeah. He sort of, his hackles raise as you come, but he sort of, as you move forward, he just moves forward with you. Mm-hmm. It's too dark, I cannot see. Oh, but I can. <laughs> <Maybe look. laughs> I'm reasonably sure. Yeah, what, what, is, uh, what is in there? Uh, inside is an abandoned woodshed. There's some old bits of timber and an axe that's buried in a large log. Neat. Um, and underneath that, a pile of hay and leaves and branches look like they've been dragged in mm-hmm. uh, and there is a female dog with five puppies and she's wrapped herself around them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah it's at, at a glance it's only obvious that she's female on account of the puppies yes <laughs> we'll it's like us. oh <laughs> and she's oh. Mm-hmm. oh I didn't think I was right but here we are <laughs> Ooh, he, yeah. Richard, you're, you're silly man. There's there's a whole family of dogs in here. We have puppies for the orphanage. Richard <laughs> <laughs> sure. walks in and starts sort of nuzzling the puppies. Why do you keep them out here? Why do you want to come back at the uh, orphanage? We can look after them. He lies down next to them and just looks at you. Rucho. And you just, we will look after them all together. And you don't have to hunt other people's chickens for them. Yes. I will forgo my food for your little babies. That, if... If we just bring them back and show them to Alphacil and... Alphacil will hate them, but he hates everything. So yeah, it's, it's, show it's true. It's true. We will show Ailey. <laughs> yeah. I'll like crawl in there as well. Mm. Yeah. So I can see a bit better now. Mm. Um, Brucia sort of looks cautiously. Stays lying there just watching you all. It's okay. I don't have any of my knives in my hands. <laughs> That's the best you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> um... um just while I'm there, just look around and see if he's put any, like, if there's the chicken there still or anything like that. Got um, that. Yeah, you do see that the chicken's on the ground and it's had a couple of bites taken out of it. Uh, I'll uh, just with my foot, push it over back towards the family. Mm-hmm. Um, an axe, you say? Yeah. Do you want the axe? Are you sure? It's not doing anyone else any favors here. That's that's true. That's true. I know that you hide your little sword by the door. Yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> have an axe as well. It's not a terrible idea. If you don't want it, can you hide it for me there? Sure. Great. Yeah, let's let's just have a stash of weapons outside the house. That sounds like a good Maybe idea. Maybe Tonk will want it when he's not in trouble. There's Someone will want this. Yes, there, there's an idea. I'm gonna take that axe. Oh uh, yeah, try to anyway. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Uh, nine. You sort of wiggle it Eight. a bit. What's it matter? Hmm? I'll go over. As... No, I'm still alpha still. Yeah, but I'll have to crack at it. Uh, three. Oh. <laughs> you could have at least loosened it for me. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, at least we know where it is. Come grab it later. We need Kip. He is stronger than us. Yeah. That's true. Anyway, shall we take the family back? I mean, imagine at this point you would have caught up if you're following them. Uh, I, 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 went went to the, I went to the docks yeah. to, get, to buy some fish. Okay. <laughs> if, Do you want to cross the kip for a bit? <laughs> um, he'd probably still be going to the docks if he was just walking down and you were charging through the forest. Oh, no, I'd, I'd probably jog, like a, a relatively quick jog, mm-hmm. being that we've yeah. already wasted time. So yeah. I'd, yeah, I'd be jogging at least. Okay. So meanwhile, at the docks. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You've already used the inspiration, but why not keep saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll just make my way to the docks and look around and just see what's for, what's available, what's for sale. Still, lots of fish. Uh, they're still coming in through the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, you notice uh, the town noble, the mayor, mm-hmm. walking around with his daughter Kaya. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and navigate my way through the docks and like hide from them. <laughs> you know what check that is? Yes, I do. <laughs> Seventeen. 
Yeah, she's sort of looking around, nose in the air. Um, for a second, you thought she caught a glimpse of you, but you disappeared Freeze. to the crowd. <laughs> just you sort of look up, and she's still just looking around like she hasn't seen you. The Scooby Doo stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, I'll try and make my way, sort of watch where they're going and then make my way to a, uh, sort of, if they're sort of doing like a loop around or I'll try like follow them and then go to a fish vendor that they go past and like that way they, it'll be a while. It's a fairly big area. It's pretty easy to yeah. slip past them and find yeah, them. Yeah, slip, slip past them and find one that I can go to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And pop up to it just. Hello! Uh, you look like there's a very large orc man with scars all across his face. Hello? <laughs> Afternoon. Um, well, I'm, I'm here to buy some fish for the, uh, for the orphanage. What do you want? Well, um, what have, what have you got? What's, what's on special? What have you got for sale for us? Oh, don't do specials, you do the best here. Excellent, that's what we look for. Um, well, uh... How about some tuna? Tuna's up. Tuna sounds good, yeah. That's... Pulls out this fish almost as big as you just <laughs> drops it. It's a big fish. Mm. Doing the maths in my head, and I'm not that smart of a boy. Um, does it look like I could feed uh, everyone in the orphanage? I mean, with the amount that you eat when you eat, they mm. probably. Well, uh, that looks good, actually. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Good. One gold, five silver. Ah. Uh... And he had 21 <laughs> knives to sell. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have this, and I'll put the patch of silver, and, um, could you potentially do a deal if, um, do you like music? No. Oh, do you like, do you have someone that you know who would like music? No. I couldn't say you a flute then. <laughs> Does he like juggling? <laughs> Perhaps, uh, is there something I could do, because I only have this much? By my count, you're short. Seven silver there. Mm. You could do some work for me, gutting fish and the likes. Mm, oh, okay. Um, sure. I'm, I like to think I'm pretty handy with a knife. All right, round you go. All right, and I'll do that. Yep. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, roll performance check. Sure, no worries. No, that's a uh, nine total. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you start gutting fish very poorly. He's like, no, 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 stop, stop, not like that, like this. Uh, uh, all right. No. Takes a knife from you quite roughly and shows you, starts filleting. All right. Um, Pass it back. Try again. Okay. Don't wreck it this time. Okay. At least you're learning your knife skills. Yeah. Can I use my knife? Can I pull out my knife and just, is it right if I use this one? It feel, it's a bit lighter and easier for me to use. Yeah, scaling knife's a lot different. Give it to me. A weapon knife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Takes it, washes it in the salt water. Mm-hmm. So like, if you butcher it, you're paying for it. Okay. <sighs> right. I suggest going slowly with that one. I'll go really slowly, and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> you know what to roll. Performance check? Yep. Fifteen. Um, he watches sort of as amusement it turns to amazement as you mm-hmm. actually manage to fill up this fish with a completely wrong knife. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do it? Yeah, keep going. All right, I'll keep going. <laughs> he turns back and starts selling again. No worries. I'll just fill it fish until he tells me otherwise. Yep. Uh, so we will cross back to Brucho in the shed. Uh, but before we do, we are going to go to break. So stick yeah. around. We'll be back in about 10 minutes or so. And we will see you then.
then yes. I left it behind. Oh, that mm. one, yeah. <laughs> well, Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Hi, all. Hi, ho! I return now to a small woodshed in mm. the middle of the forest. With a family of puppies and. Puppy dogs everywhere. Yes. Puppies! <laughs> <laughs> and an axe that won't come free. Uh, Bruto, we, we really need to uh, take you back somewhere safe and your family. Can you come with us? Should we carry the puppies? Can we carry the puppies? Can we carry the puppies, Bruto? And then, like, look at him, but like, move towards the puppies with the intent to, like, hands out. I wrote animal handling. Oh, God, that is not my strong suit. 18. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll take that. Uh, you see him watch you very cautiously, but you very gently reach down and start patting the puppy. Very good with my hands. I know. Pick up the puppy. And he does trust you, yeah. generally. <laughs> what an idiot. Uh, <laughs> you just put that on the floor for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm done. So I'll pick up like one of the puppies and tuck it under my arm and give it a little cuddle. You and then just keep, keep looking at him like, is this chill? It's quite tiny. Um, it sort of looks up at you, its eyes are still closed. And it sort of opens its mouth a little bit, you see its tiny teeth. Oh, keep banging. There's a part of me that wants to check with the mother, but that's probably going to be a bad idea, so I'm just going to pick up a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling it's going to go badly for me. Animal handling. Oh, it's going to go badly for me anyway. Hey, a natural one. <laughs> Yay. Oh, yes. What a time. Lovely. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Dawn pile. <laughs> I don't know how this happens. I've, uh, I have a... I get that sign. Oh, yeah, yeah, well. Look, I've... Uh, <laughs> Can I already... assist him on this? Because I've already got a trained. Uh, I'm animal handling, no, but I have uh, a puppy well. in my hands. <laughs> uh, I'll let you roll the vibe because yes, one has already been picked up. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, glorious. It's almost like I have terrible dice luck or something. And Raz levitates out of the room. <laughs> I advise. Oh, so. I wish I could. You, you reach forward and the mother sort of growls at you. Oh, you know what? That, you know what? That makes sense. Teeth. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. Alright. Looks like I'm gonna have to carry three puppies. <laughs> Yep. Who's got the other two? Uh, oh, there's five of them, is it? Yes. God damn. Um, You're just going to have to somehow carry five puppies. Yeah. Do I, and or let can we look around and see if there's like a bag or something or that I can use to carry them? Uh, you could bounce them on the head of an axe if you could pull it out. <laughs> oh boy. Don't suggest it. <laughs> I'm not a high wisdom character. <laughs> Again. Um, but yeah, can I just look around and see if there's any like sack or anything, anything like that you think would have long rotted in here? All right. Uh, uh, we need a bag. Uh, Maybe okay. we go to town. We get a bag, or a, or a, or a basket might be or know, something like safer. That. Yeah. If we when we get the fish, we will just get a much bigger container. We go. Oh, we need room for extra. And we'll put puppies in there. Take the fish out. You also know that you, whenever you go to the bakery to pick up bread, they always give you a very large woven basket. When we go to the bakery, <laughs> they have big baskets. That's a good idea. We will buy one bread roll. Yes. And big take basket. a basket. Yeah. Alternate, I mean, is there anything stopping us from just taking a basket? I don't want to steal from the baker. The baker's lovely. We can steal from the general store if they have a bag. Ah, I like his, I like his thinking. Because fuck Ernest and his dad. <laughs> Fair enough. It's up to you. We can get a basket from the baker and the bread roll, or we can risk our lives but steal from Ernest. <laughs> <laughs> Choice, I mean, right? I mean, I for me, yes. <laughs> no, yeah, well, I mean, look, here, here's the here's the deal. I don't have the money on me anymore. You may recall. Ah, uh, that is true. Yeah. Uh, and I don't want to owe you any more knives for a bread roll. It's gone up to four. There's an interest charge. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. It's fine. Out of all the knives you've taken, there are some very specific bread knives that you might be able to trade at the baker's. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go to the baker. Mm. <sighs> Ruto, so wait here, and I'll put the puppy down. <laughs> I'm not even walk around with the puppy. Yeah. <laughs> that would be down terrible. Down. And, 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 and don't, and don't kill any more chickens. Yes. Take this one. Finish that chicken. <laughs> Finish your meal, damn you. Yeah. I'm already he, in trouble for this one. He grabs it and drags it over to his mate and drops it in front of her. She starts snoring on it. And no more chickens till I get back. Please. And you see him stand up and his tail start wagging. His no, tail no chicken. <laughs> Can I like... Like close the entrance, <laughs> like box him in as we leave. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's collapsed. You could probably move a couple of logs. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do that to keep him there. Uh, Good yeah. plan. I'm gonna duck out before you do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I like from the outside. I'm, yeah. I'll box him in. Like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, right? uh, yeah, you do that. That's yeah. fairly easy. Uh, there's some fallen trees and branches around that you can cross. Um, Stay. You hear him start whining. He doesn't oh. like being locked in. You've got a chicken. Shut up. <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah. You're set for like a day at least. We'll duck off uh, to the beaker. Yeah. So you start heading south down the hill, down through the tree line. Uh, it doesn't take long before the the top of the carpenter's building comes into sight. Um, you hear behind you a very miserable howl echoing through the trees. Yes, to be careful, you will attract mm. wolves. Mm. <laughs> I, I feel like the chicken would do that just fine. No, the chicken's in the farm. Yeah, well, well it's doesn't matter. He's safe in there. He's locked away. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Perfectly safe. When yeah. you go out to get them and get attacked by wolves, however, that's true. Oh, I mean, look. Uh, so yeah, you head down um, and end up going past the carpenters. Uh, it's getting to sort of mid afternoon now, probably around two or three. Uh, the sun's starting to go down the other side of the sky. Yeah, all right. Um, uh, well. Trade's drying up a little bit. Um, it's sort of when they start packing up for the markets. The baker's still open until later, as well as most of the businesses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, we're good to just go to the baker then, shouldn't we? Well, we still need to get fish. That was like the only thing we had to do today, was yeah. get fish before dinner. And, and now we're gathering a, a gaggle of puppies. Correct. But first, uh, yes, we go to the baker and we just get one bread roll, okay? Mm-hmm. Just that one. Just the one. And the basket. You pick a good one. Because I'm very hungry, I've not eaten all day. <laughs> so we'll cut back to the ore quickly. Yeah. Uh, you've been working for him for about an hour now. Mm-hmm. You done well, boy. Here you go. Oh, well, thank you. Know. Thank you. Thank um, you. Make a strength save. Sure. Um, I'll do that. It's not bad for you. Fourteen. You almost fall with the weight of the fish. Um, but manage to dry yourself. <sighs> all right. Thank you. If you're looking for a couple of copper, come see me. I always have work. Oh, um, sure. Sounds good. That uh, will do. All right, off you go then. I'm Kip. Nice to meet you, Kip. <laughs> Starts packing up his stall, putting his fish away. <laughs> Not much <laughs> left now. He sold most of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just start making my way. Yep. So you're walking through downtown. Um, the market as it's packing up. <laughs> walking fast. Yep. And you're homebound. <laughs> um, looking up down the side of the carpenters, you do see your friends emerge. <laughs> Hey guys! What the hell is that? It's a fish! It is a huge fish! I got a lot of fish! I tell, I tell, we're getting a basket, we'll help you so we have a basket to carry it. Uh, what? But, no, no that, that basket's reserved! Well, we get two baskets! <laughs> Surely they will help us, it's a giant fish! Why, why, are you getting, uh, why are you getting baskets? Because Brucho has puppies! He has what? Puppies! <laughs> That's adorable! Yes! <laughs> Maybe we need a bag, Raz. <laughs> At this point, it seems like a good idea. I tell you what. Yeah. Let's tuck in the baker real quick, get mm-hmm. a basket for the fish. Mm-hmm. Then we'll get a bag for the puppies. Okay. Yes. <laughs> why, why are you so insistent on it being a bag? Because I hate Ernest and I want to take <laughs> things from his father's shop. You know what? That's fair. I'm no. down for it. The tail pre- it's first of all, let's problem? go over just like yeah. Hand the fish. yeah, yeah. So there's three people, three, three little Children. boys walking yeah. into the well, two boys and a dwarf walking <laughs> into the store <laughs> carrying a fish. Sure. Uh, um, uh, yep. Uh, you sort of bump the door on the way in as all three of you try to go into it, back up and go so, through the thing. Hello, three, three sisters how about, yeah. running in sideways with a giant. <laughs> how about I, I'm I'm happy to wait outside with this if you go two want to go in. Okay, we don't want to stink out the bigger shop with our fish. There is a wooden bench out the front that you could quite easily sit down with it. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here for a while. Do we know the baker's name? Uh, <laughs> we certainly should. <laughs> certainly should. <laughs> uh, Mr. Baker Man. Oh, Ooh. yes. Hello, boys. Hello. Alphacil. Good yes. to see you. Yes, it's me, Alphacil. Uh, I have... <laughs> <laughs> Weird request. Uh, oh. I know it's late in the day and maybe the bread's not so good at this point. May we oh, have... Oh, my bread's always good. Okay, that's... Yep, okay. Well, can we have a basket with one loaf of bread in it, please? Oh, of course. Yes, and uh, it has to be big enough to hold a giant fish. Oh. Not the bread, the basket. Oh, that makes more sense. That'd be a rather large loaf of bread. Yes, we only need a very small loaf. Uh, one of the children from the orphanage here, Raz, he would like a bread roll. And oh, he's sure. been very good today. I'm treating him. Oh, well, that's excellent. I know he can be a bit naughty sometimes, but I know he's a good lad. Yes. He sort of pushes his spectacles up and <laughs> out the back, comes out with a very big basket and puts it up and he takes a gold, uh, a roll and puts it in. Oh, also, we are very short on money, but I have a, an excess of bread knives. So would you like some nice bread knives? Oh, that's a bit strange walking around with that many knives. <laughs> Not strange at all. This is what Alphacil does all the time. Oh. I am Alphacil and this is what I do. 
and I'll <laughs> okay, sure. roll up the jumper a bit and take the like the worst of the two bread knives. Like, How does this one look for you? I'll tell you what, Arthur you're one of my best customers. Take the roll for free, just make sure you return the basket when you're done. You got it, but like wave the knife at him <laughs> and then slam it away. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. I well, will, of course. I will remember this. Uh, Maybe one of uh, the orphan boys will come and work for you. Oh, well, that would be lovely. I hear Ruse is fantastic. Oh, yes. Yes, I've heard good things. Excellent. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> what? <laughs> There's this topsy-turvy world we're living in. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, take the basket and head outside. As you go, the door swing. Bill. Bye, Ruse. <laughs> no problem. I figured, <laughs> figured you figured it out. I'm working on the voice, though. One day I'll get it. It has to be deeper. I know, but I am a boy. <laughs> I'll, I'll put the basket down. And take that I'm the currently fish. outside practicing my flute. <laughs> my fish. On the fish. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, is, no, what are you doing? The fish, is on, fish. fish is on the lap. I've right, pulled, right, it, right. pulled out my flute, my wooden flute. I mean, I'm, I'm swiping that bread roll. I'm just bunging <laughs> on that. Yeah, I was definitely getting you a bread roll. Um, <laughs> Perfect. But yeah, we'll get the fish in there. And, uh, oh, you're back. Yes. Uh, now I have a small little thing I would like to do. <laughs> what? I want to go to the general store and take our bag. Why? Because we need a bag for the puppies. Can we just use the basket after dropping the fish up? It stinks of fish now. <laughs> you don't want to put puppies in fish? It's a, they're dogs. They, they, they roll in... They, you've seen Brocho roll in cow pats? Yes, but then there will be dog hair on the fish. Or you'll have to carry the fish. You want to carry the fish the whole way back? No, no, we... we We're not we, taking two trips again. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's already late we in the day. Shit. We take two trips. No, uh, it's already late in the day. We will not get to eat dinner. I am very hungry. Mm. Well, you and want... I just offered up the last bread roll to him. <laughs> you want to move to the... You want to move the fish. I don't want to move the puppies. <laughs> There's so many things I want to do today. <laughs> hey, have a fish in your own. <laughs> you, you, you can do that from the shore. We can do that tomorrow. <sighs> <laughs> well, how do we want to do it? I'm, I'm, I'm Put that in the basket. Okay, do we want to do two trips? No, we are getting our bag. I have a genius plan. Would you call you it a plan? You know what? Yes. <laughs> you need the fishing rod for this one. Feck it, I'm into it. And I'll put the, uh, I'll put the tuna in the basket. <laughs> you see the wicket at the bottom just bulge a little bit as it sits in. We still probably need to carry the bag with like two pe- uh, basket with two people. Right. Mm, it's um, probably a good idea. Roll a straight intelligence check. Sure. <laughs> That's oh, that boy. one <laughs> minus one. <laughs> You'd probably carry it by yourself. So I say so zero. <laughs> uh, well, okay. I mean, I, I'm I could probably if you go oh. get the bag, I if might you be are sure. To, I might be able to do it. You're a confident man. We well, we needed you before. We have an axe that we want to get. Maybe when we get to the see, look, that's that's what we can do tomorrow. Today. Yes. No, we'll, we're going there anyway. We'll get the axe. All three of us will pull it together. We'll get it. Uh, lift the basket. We'll try lift the basket. <laughs> yeah, that's very heavy. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> if only we could levitate the basket. It's a really heavy uh, basket. <laughs> if only. Uh, so let's all work together. We all three mm-hmm. of us pick up the basket. I'm sure we can do this. Mm-hmm. I'll, shove, I'll shove half the bread roll in my mouth so that I have both my hands free. <laughs> it's like she's a giant bread. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put the bread down. To... <laughs> oh, stop it in, chubby bunny. <laughs> so, like, lay the fishing rod across the handle as well, so well, nobody having to carry anything in their hands and all yep. three of us yep. carry the basket. Yeah, it's very awkward, very cumbersome, but you okay. manage to all pick it up and shuffle your way through the city. To right. the general goods store. To the general goods store. Uh, What's well, the plan? Well, someone else has to try to sell the fishing rod to Ernest's dad. And while they do that, I will get her back. I grab the fishing rod. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm not great with people, but... How about you look over, you look over the fish? I, I, I oh, finish your bread. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I do that. yeah. And yeah, <laughs> watch over the fish. And yeah. don't look conspicuous. I learned that word today, and it's the opposite of what I want to be. <laughs> as, soon, as soon as you say that it's like it's, it's one of the only times Raz actually understands a word that you say and he actively makes himself look more conspicuous by accident you mean you, you mean upper no. conspicuous no uh, the uh, opposite of conspicuous no, upper un- conspicuous unconspicuous that's un- right 
<laughs> I think it's awful conspicuous. Who's a conspicuous? Yo, I think I am. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah. No, don't be. Uh, don't. <laughs> Sit still. <laughs> but it, no, no. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I walk into the store. Yes. <laughs> Ding. So trans. I'll take a little bit and I'll walk in a little bit after it. Yeah. As you walk up, you see Ernest sitting there in an oversized robe. Hello. Oh, hi. I um, I found a fishing rod and we don't really have anything to do, but you know, with it. So I thought maybe you know, sell it for something and then. My dad's not here now. What do you mean? I don't know. He told me to watch the shop. Oh, okay. Um, as in he's just gone out, or...? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, well, do you think that you could do some bartering? No, I'll get in trouble. Oh. I've just been told to stay here and keep studying magic. Oh. Um, can I roll to hide? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, just self. Near the bags. Ugh. Uh, that is an eight. Yeah. You sort of duck down behind the bags. Um, oh, well, uh, well, what, what are you, uh, what, what kind? What are you studying? Magic. Yeah, well, obviously, but what I'm kind of magic? I'm a powerful wizard. What, what kind of magic are you studying? I hear there's lots. I have to do the foundation work first. That's cool. Can you do any magic? Yes. Can you show me? No. Aw. Okay. I just thought I'd love me to cool. talk to you. Why, why is that? Because Kai told me not to. Oh, what? what why, why can't you? What's wrong with talking to us? Well, she doesn't like you, and if I get seen talking to you, she won't talk to me anymore either. Yeah, well, Kai is not that good of a person. She keeps bullying me around. Yeah, I know. She doesn't think I'm going to be a wizard. She's a real... She's mean, isn't she? She doesn't think that I'll achieve anything in my life, either. Yeah, but at least she doesn't bully me like that ruse. Mm, she does pick on him a lot. No, he picks on me. Does he? Yes, he keeps doing voices and copies me and says mean things. I mean... Can I roll slow of to try to... 19... <laughs> plus... That's 23. So what are you doing? I'm just taking a bag. <laughs> like a bag big enough to hold five puppies. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you yeah. find one pretty easily. Yeah. Mm. I'll just and I'm pretty sure, worst of all, I think he's a thief. I think he's still <laughs> I mean, he has stolen a couple of things of mine in the past, but you get it back if you ask for it. He also waved knives at me. He does like knives. I mean, I like knives too, but... You know, he's much more avid math lover. Well, <laughs> Raz outside is just like shifting around, mm. holding his breath, which he finds he has no trouble doing. <laughs> Alright, come and look at this. Alright. <laughs> turns this big book over, uh, turns around, he's like, see this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a spell and it shows all these components about how to make things that are metal turn super hot so people can't hold onto them. So one mm. day if he does it to me, I'll make sure he can't. <laughs> that looks interesting. Well, if I'm there to see it, I'll, uh, I, well, I guess I'll either laugh or, uh, something, I'm not sure. We'll figure something out. <laughs> Alright, well, well, if he's, uh, get going. yeah, well, I guess I'll find something to do with this, Rob. Um, farewell, and I'll try to sneak out that way, Kai doesn't know. Alright, bye. Bye. Wait. Mm -hmm. You can't tell her I told you this, but I don't know what they're playing. They're going to try and do something, though. They're going to try and find you and your friends. What are they going to try and do? I don't know. They won't tell me. But So they're just trying to find us? Yeah, well, it can't be anything good with them. Mm. She does mean things. Let's... Ruth well, probably deserves it. Well... <laughs> Speaking of, I put the bag on, then I put the red jumper over the bag. <laughs> well, I'll, um... Alright, well, thanks for letting me know. I'll be sure to prepare for it. Alright, bye. Bye. I'll walk out. Yep. As it dings, I'll come out from where I was as like Alpha Sil. <laughs> hey, uh, hey kid. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, where do you keep your knives? Ruse keeps taking all the knives. Oh, um, I think we've got some over there. Uh, just 
Yeah, I'll show you. Get something comes around from behind the counter. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Goes over to some shelves and there are some knives laid out. Are they like good ones? Better than what we usually have? General store fish? knives. Um, but they've been cleaned and well kept. Yeah. Alright. I'll uh, have a look at them for a bit. No. Uh, these are just the same as the ones we already have. Thanks for your yes. help though. Okay. I'll wait for him to walk back to the counter. He's standing there waiting for more instruction. You can go, you can go back to the counter, buddy. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks for your help. Turns and trots off. He sits down and starts looking through this book. He's going to swat as he's walking away. I'm going to swap over like five of my shitty knives for five of the good ones. Sure. And then try and pocket five more. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. So you take ten good li- knives, lose five bad ones. Five good ones, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Up that tally. Yeah. Thanks for your help, mate. Uh... Say hi to your dad. Okay, bye, sir. Fucking nerd. Brutal. And I head out the front and be like, I've got the bag, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Try to get the basket. Yeah, just what, what, basket. Why are you talking like that? Uh, no reason, I'm just working on the uh, fossil voice. Let's go, come on. <laughs> All right. Come on, boys. <laughs> Bloody kids. Uh, we, should, we should probably, well, that's the plan. Get the fish back first and then go and find Bruto later. Oh no, we know where Bridget is, we just, come on, we'll take the fish. We'll just do it now. Alright. Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> uh, and as we're like out of the town, I'll tell him about the little shack that we need to go to to mm. get the puppies. Yeah. Alright. So, are, and I think by now we've figured out it's he- too heavy for you to carry by yourself. As a group, yeah. we've probably come to the, to the real It's also worked out at this point that it's better to take it turns dragging it along by. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll do that. Yeah. Um... And then um, I'll tell uh, Raz that he still owes me three knives. <laughs> <laughs> Surely watching over the fish made me. Made me All right, it's fine. Two knives. <laughs> still two knives more than I have. Damn it. Uh, plus five. What if we end up getting the axe? Oh, you're a bartering man. I like it. <laughs> we will have a deal. If we all get the axe, good. That works for me. Oh, there's an axe there. We need your help. <laughs> It, it stuck uh, real good in that We both tried it. I think we made it worse. I think we put it further in <laughs> to, to pull it out. All right. Well, we'll uh, I'll see what I can do about it, I guess. Thank you very much. Uh, so you're heading back to the lodge? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you drag the basket. It takes a lot longer. <laughs> I'm dragging this basket. Yeah. Uh, it's not getting dark yet, but it's getting to the point where uh, the trees are glowing gold a bit. Um, you know, the sun's getting low on the sky. See, now this is why we didn't take two trips. <laughs> See, well, in all honesty, I actually like this time of day, not evening. <laughs> <laughs> right, but you wouldn't like Dusk. it. <laughs> yeah, like you wouldn't like it if it was night time. So oh, I, I, now. I very much enjoy this time of day, night, evening. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, I, I do like the night. The night is actually quite cool. Stop justifying yourself. <laughs> Okay, well, before the day night evening finishes, we must get to everybody home, which includes the puppies! Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, you're getting fairly close now as you shout, the puppies! Uh, you see Brucho's head sort of poke through a bit of a gap and start barking. I've got something for you! Oh, that's right! A bag! <laughs> Nose pulls back. Right. We'll pull the, the crap aside. Uh, uh, all right. locking him in. Mm-hmm. Um, Brucho being a dog, not having any concept that you're his tormentors, wags his tail to see you and yeah. and start throbbing against you. Tormentors? <laughs> I mean, look. Alright, well, looking in. Where is this, uh... Ah, oh, that's adorable. Do you have dog food? Yes, you do. Yeah, I figured you were. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, you see all these puppies sleeping in a big pile. Oh, they're adorable. Oh, let's, uh, uh, let, let's let Ruse transfer the pile into the bag, because I, was, I sure as shit can't. I'll just take the jumper off. And then, uh-huh. like, try and get the puppies and give them to you to sort of load into the bag. <laughs> I, I was going to look at the axe, but sure. <laughs> could, could. Load them into the bag, I guess. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. hit Raz. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not. hitting my lot, which yeah, is very okay. weird. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you start bringing the dog into the bag, mm-hmm. and it just keeps sinking in. What, what have you done? Wait, I put it in the bag. I, I cannot feel it in the bag. No, you didn't. No. What are you doing? You, you, this you bag. Do Where's your oh. hand? <laughs> this bag is very big, and I feel the puppy. Oh, good. Uh, get him out of the bag. Uh, what is out. going on? <laughs> Why can I what? not feel the puppy in the bag? Big. That. What? Roll a history check. <laughs> can I stick my head in the bag? You. That's, a, that's not high. <laughs> uh, with advantage because of all your reading. <laughs> <laughs> all those books you read. That's better. Uh, 13. 
Uh, you have read about bags of holding in magic books. I think I may have taken something a little more expensive than I thought I was <laughs> taking. I just wanted a big bag. I was not looking because I was not sure if I was hidden or not. But we may have a very, very, very expensive magical item. Um, <laughs> I stick my head in it and then look around. <laughs> uh, just a weird grey swirling nothingness. But it's visible but nothing and nothing at the same time. That's interesting. So, point of interest. Could you breathe in there? <laughs> <laughs> You can. <coughs> you can. I mean, you got ten minutes of oxygen. It's dusty. Oh. <coughs> it's dusty, but yeah, it's there. Uh, you also know that if there was anything in there, you can turn it inside out and it just so empty itself. Empty itself. We are going to take this back to where you hide your sword, uh -huh. and we're going to bury it. Right. And we will know where it is, and we tell no one. Okay. Except Tonk, and uh -huh. maybe our closest friends. Right. But not those little kids. Okay. They're lovely. But they will spill our secret. They are not nine and ten year olds like us, who are very smart. I mean, I'm, I'm very twelve, twelve, but yes, you are. But <laughs> I am very smart, and you are also you very are smart. smart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am kid. But I teach math. So I have plus one math, like covered. <laughs> um, well, this is incredible, though. Okay. Do you know what this means? We can carry like everything in this bag, everything of ever. You won't have to be covered in knives all the time. That is an incredible point. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best day of my life. <laughs> but you know what? There's one knife I cannot put in the bag. Because <laughs> it will climb back out. <laughs> That's fair. This is great news. And I'll start unstrapping. Like There's just a ton of like leather unbucklings. <laughs> and there's bag of knives. I'm oh. sure at some point there's just like tape across the Yeah, them. definitely. <laughs> there's like what, some sort of adhesive tape that I just tape knives to my stomach. And I'm just at, putting them all in the bag. At, like, at some point through this process, Raz realizes, it's like, couldn't you have just like tied off the sleeves of your sweater and could have used that as a bag? Why don't we put the fish in the bag? <laughs> That's what I was actually going to say. You are Yay! so smart. We are all very smart. We are the best kids. Why does that still hate us? <laughs> I cannot think of any reason why I still does not like us. Remember that time that we broke into his garden? No. Forgetting all of those times. <laughs> no, I don't remember that actually. Forgetting all the things we have done wrong. I don't know why he does not like us. Well, wait, how are we, how are we going to give them the fish without giving away that we have the bag? We put the fish in the bag. Yes, and then get it out at the last minute. Then we get right. it. Then we get it out. Exactly. Bury the bag, and we can carry the fish. I mean, I carried the fish for a little bit. I'm, I'm sure I can carry the fish. We can do that. Right. Yes. Well, first of all, uh -huh. the fish in the bag. Fish in the bag. No, not the bag. Right. You and yeah. me both. Yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. keeping right. right. So we live three, two, one. <laughs> 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 what? Is it the bottom of the bag? What's going on? <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the bag. Now we have to carry the puppies. Uh -huh. In the basket. In the basket. Yes. Which smells of fish, but uh -huh. they won't mind because they are puppies. Exactly. So you do that. Mm -hmm. Is this the axe? Yes, yeah. please. Yeah, you, you sort that out. I'll well, supervise if you need help, the situation. Let us know. We will just help however we can. So the axe is buried. It's just like when a, someone finishes cutting, they leave it there. Mm -hmm. We're just weak as shit. Yeah. Instead <laughs> of pulling on it, I oh, want no. to like like climb up onto where it is and st like stamp it down. Kind of lever it out. Yeah, to lever it out. Uh, I get you. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Roll strength. We definitely would just try to pull it sure. straight against yeah. the grain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's cool. Uh, that's uh, seven. <laughs> well, that's that's not worse than Ironically, really. you described it just in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you stand and step down it, the wood just splinters from rot. Huh? And now it's got about a third of a handle. Hmm. I well, think it's an old axe. What, we, what did you do? <laughs> How did you break an axe? You are way too strong. Uh, <laughs> roll an intelligence check for me. Sure. That's a 11. Um, yeah, you know that won't work. You'd have to leave it out some other way. Mm. It can't quite work out how. Can, can, can I have another crack at handling these puppies? Just go on. Just in case. <laughs> go on. Uh, that's much better. Still not great, but better. 15. Uh, yeah, so the mother seems a bit more relaxed around you now and you oh, got to pick one up and... She sort of eyes you warily once again, but lets you... Yeah, I'm not liable to get bitten anymore. Well. <laughs> Unless I love a dog. dog. Chickens. Yeah. So now that I don't have, like, an arsenal of knives in yeah. my jumper anymore, I'm going to, like, roll the bottom of the jumper up <laughs> to oh. make a little pouch. Yeah. To, yep. to be warm for as many puppies as I can fit in there, mm -hmm. and you can carry the rest. Yeah. 
Um, so I'm imagining you've probably got three. You've got one in each hand or under each arm. Yeah. Yep. Don't um, even need the bastard. I want to. How high up is the axe? Would it be possible for me to like crouch underneath it and rest it on my shoulder and then use my legs? Uh, it's you could, but you're looking at it. It's in a stump. I uh, mm-hmm. figure if you do that, you're just gonna lift the whole stump. <laughs> All right. Let's roll chaos. I want to kick the axe. <laughs> I want to. Um. So yeah, I want to essentially. Um. Sort of line it up if it's sort of like this and kick it like that. So try and wedge it out. Kick the blade? Yes. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, the, like the head yeah. bit or the sharp bit? No, no, like the, the head, head bit. Bit. The head bit. Okay. Yeah, like I want to kick the, point that the end. So if the, if the blade's embedded like that, I want to kick the end. He's not, not, he's not, he's not going to give mm-hmm. his toe the mother of all stuff. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's a, like a push kick. And I will sing a little song of strength. <laughs> um, Fifteen... Uh, you kick it, make a deck save. Sure. Deck save... 15. Um, as it comes loose, you do fall off the back mm-hmm. of the wall. Uh, almost hitting your head on the wall, but you manage to just narrowly avoid it as you flatten on the ground. Oh, you did it! I got it! I'll get back up. Wait, did he do it? Yes, but we have a too? very short axe now. I'll pick it up. Yeah. The head's a little bit bent from it, it was just mm-hmm. given a boot. Um, and it's very rusted. I mean, it's quite old, but we got an axe. If we maybe take it to the black the smith another day, then we can get it fixed. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe for once, something you give him won't run away from him immediately. Wait, I'll hold the axe, uh-huh. I'll put it down on the floor, and take a few steps back. <laughs> Seems to sit there. Good. Yes, this will do that. Okay. <laughs> it's good to check. Do we want to put this anywhere in particular? Uh, we can. Oh, if we put it in a bag, it's just another thing we have to remember. If you don't want to carry it, we can put it in the bag, though. Do you put it in the bag? I say we, we put it in the bag. Yeah. Is there anything else people want to put in the bag? Uh, I don't I'm good. I don't think so. Okay. How about your fishing rod? That's a good idea. Yeah. I thought so. You, you didn't take that back out of the shop. <laughs> yes. We can even, yeah, yeah, we can even say that you fished up the tuna. We'll slide it down. I don't know what to light with them. <laughs> 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 you realize I worked hard for that fish. Uh, I know. I could, I could not even finish the sentence without <laughs> saying. Hold up my hands as remains of fish scales and guts. Boy, yeah. Jesus. You stink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing all day? We didn't have enough money, so I had to work for it. Oh, but well. you got a very, very big fish. I'm sure that will do it. And I found it. And uh, he might actually want me to go and work for him again. You could tell them you did a lot of that, or you could just tell them you did good work. Um, I don't know why I always want to lie. Well, <laughs> I like I like having money. Money's cool. Well, you can have a job. Exactly. Or you could work at the baker. I said one of us could work for him. If too. I if I work hard enough and long enough, do you reckon I could save up enough money to get on one of those boats? Most probably. You could buy a boat oh, if you yeah. get enough money. Yeah. <gasps> probably not one, Probably not as big as one of those boats, but you know. I could own boat. a boat. But you need to know how to sail a boat. Mm. But or they or keep, row. They keep threatening to tie him to the sail and make him do the sail. So he, yeah. if you ask him nicely and don't tie him to the <laughs> sail, he might help you. I'm not even sure that would work. But I could learn. You know. I could learn. You could like levitate the top third of the <laughs> sail to pull it up. <laughs> that might, I don't know. I don't know maths or know. physics. <laughs> I am a nine-year-old boy. <laughs> well, I'm a nine-year-old changeling. There's no confirmation on that. But mm-hmm. Let us go home with the puppies and the fish and an axe <laughs> and no knives and a fishing rod. This was... We got a lot more than we thought and so we took a lot longer. <laughs> what was supposed to be the morning errand <laughs> turned into the entire day. Sounds and about we right. We are big boys. We can do this. Is, uh, this this seems like everything that happens. Wait to till us. I tell Tonk about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'll be sort of shall proud. we? <laughs> yes. Let's yes. go. Hey, Brucho. We're gonna look after your family. You are yeah. a dog. You don't respond. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget that. <laughs> Ten years later, I still do it. What, 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 what day you respond? Yes. <laughs> he'll respond one day. Maybe. You should learn how to speak to animals. You should. Anyway. Onward. Yep. So you head out and start heading back along. Mm-hmm. Carrying um, puppies, dragging fish. Are you going the same way you followed Richard? So down along the back tree line? And we, should go away the where we should go away where there is not many people out that would see us. Then we can hide the bag. Well, the bag is under my jumper. I have the jumper back over the bag. But, but, but also, I just look like but, a fat we also, but we also need to get the fish out. But, but also... Yeah, we do that so we get, so we get at the orphanage. Yeah, yes. but as long as there's no one watching. Well, it, I mean, Raz yeah. has a little spot where he stores yeah. a, a sword. Exactly. Sure, we can. so we can go there and 
I don't know if I want to get rid of the bag now. I love it so much. And all my knives in there, I can't get rid of the bag. I'm going to have to wear the bag forever. Well, as, long as, we have the, as long as we have the fish out. I mean, how, how about this? When we leave the house, you can put the knives in there. What if I change to a, like, a slightly less fat alpha seal and uh-huh. I wore the bag on my front? And then he could be like my belly. Right, but, but, th- but then you're running the risk of people finding the bag all the time because it's on you all the kind time. Kind of running the risk of people finding the bag all the time anyway. <sighs> Not wrong. I'm going to have to tell Ailey. About the bag or about your knives? The bag only. Okay. She doesn't know it's full of knives. <laughs> I mean... We should, we, when we get back as well, we should find if there's anything else in the bag. Yeah. Turn it upside down and open it oh, up yeah. for everything to come out. That's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, at this point, all I'm expecting to come out of it is a fish full of knives, but, you know... And an axe. A- and an axe. I did a little bit of reading. If you put things in, they don't all combine into one thing. <laughs> oh, you don't like, put a 20 knives in a fish and you've got a 20 knife fish. That's not how it works. Besides, well, there'd be a fishing rod through the fish. That would be silly. That's, that's good. That's very good. Anyway. But then you could put the fishing rod on some stakes over a fire and rotisserie it. Or you could swing the fishing rod with the fish on it out into the forest and catch a wolf. That wouldn't work. <laughs> Even I don't think that would work. I'm so tired and hungry. Can we go home? Yes. And give Ailey and Alpha the fish for dinner we can eat. Please. Sure. So you've got... Two main options. One is to go through the forest, where at this time of day you do run the risks of the wolves coming out to hunt. Well, then let's not do that. <laughs> or you can head back down the way you saw Brucho, which is just a short trip through the forest and then out along the back of the farmlands and down the main path. I, there's a clear option that. here. <laughs> let's do that. Yeah. Yep. There, there's a clear smarter option that involves not potentially getting hunted by wolves. Yo, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> We're also alive. At least I'm not a fucking nerd. <laughs> I read a lot of books. So I'm probably a nerd too. But not as nerdy as Ernest, right? Right, guys? Probably. He is a nerd. Oh, by the way, um, Kaya and her gang are apparently looking for us. Oh, that's never They will good. never find us. Well, they'll probably find us. No, we are always at the orphanage. <laughs> We're well, not that hard to find. But they'll never find my knives now! <laughs> <They're over there. laughs> you might need those, though. <laughs> Where'd I put that tape? <laughs> anyway. It's in the bag. Alright, well, let's get back close mm. and then we'll sort out what we take out of the bag. And I kind of think we have to tell Ellie we have the bag, and if she takes it away from us, we will yell at her a lot until she gives it back. I mean, you can do that. I think, I, I, I don't think we need to talk about the bag at all. I cannot hide a giant bag of holding forever. What's oh, if you? I tell them about the bag, they're going to give it back to Innistad. You're right, I cannot tell 100%. you. 100%. What do we do? What do we do? We hide it in our room. We bury it? Brutal mm, will dig it up. I am sure of it. Yeah. I know what I he mean, does. it smells like fish. We can hide it under a floorboard. We can put it in a tree. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm still of the opinion that just lifting a floorboard in our room, chucking it under there. You do know yeah. we're on the second story, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Josh has carpenter knowledge to know that that's not how the floor yeah, yeah. <laughs> works. Two story house works, but Ruth doesn't, so. Kit doesn't. <laughs> Nor does Rats. Uh, we will find somewhere to store it, I'm sure. Uh, what's this the is tough. Being a big boy is tough. Yeah. Are you yeah. sure you want that boat? That's, that'll, that's probably tough, too. Well, well, I'm sure we I'd have to work it. to get it. It will take him at least a month to work for it. We'll be at bigger. least. Yes, at least a month. Such a long time. This is all on the walk back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lots of ridiculous child conversations. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And me going through the new knives, seeing mm-hmm. which ones are good. Mm-hmm. That's uh, probably yeah. most of them. Uh, so you walk down uh, to the main path and start following it back along. Uh, everyone roll perception for me. Nice. Hey. Ten. Four. Six. Uh, yep. <laughs> None of that beat 14. The look on your face tells me we are in danger. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. yes. Yeah, so you're heading down the path. Uh, you get towards the end of the house and you hear a voice call out to you. Where do you think you're going? Uh, we are going to home. Who are you? Uh, you look over and you see um, Kaya. Oh, fuck. Uh, she's standing there with Ernest and Luke and Sam. <laughs> What's up? Oh, no. I just I turn and face them. Just what do you want? 
Oh, you think you're so clever, don't you? You think you're so cool and so good at fighting. Well, I am clever, I am cool, and I'm not too bad at fighting. So yes, yes, <laughs> most of those things. He's yeah. very good at fighting. And Rez is a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just sort of, sort of just eye, eye her and just crack the knuckles a little bit. Oh, jeez. Is this really what's happening? <laughs> Well, if you think you're so good, why don't more, you fight us then? It's literally more of a Why would we want to do that? Well, <laughs> to prove that we're better than you. So, you want to fight us? I'll tell you what. Let's have a deal. I'm going to throw a knife. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I put sort of reach behind and back. <laughs> and if it ends up closer to me after one minute than it is to you, you have to fuck off. That doesn't even make sense. You're an idiot. <laughs> Tell the knife out. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Do you want to find out? I will wave this in front of your face again, nerd. I know it scares you. <laughs> Alpha still told me. <laughs> I, I don't know about you lot, but I'm really kind of tired. And I don't know about you lot, but I really don't want to have to deal with you. We'll see you again soon then, cowards. You're the ones walking our way. We have absolutely <laughs> fine right here. I mean, Cowards, Well, then eh? stay. This is Luke's house. We're not going anywhere. All right. We're having a sleepover then, I guess. <laughs> Ruse, why? I, I mean, thought you, I thought you hated plenty, orphans. We've got plenty of food, you're, you're inviting so... us to stay, then we will stay. Yeah, great We're idea. We're not going anywhere. Ruse, why? <laughs> well, I like how you think you've got something to prove there, Kea, but we all know that you're just a little toad. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Now hop away. <laughs> she glares at you. I what? wink at her. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, by the waterfall. What's Luke's... See how tough you are. What, what's Luke's dad's name? Oh, this is Luke's house, yeah? Yes. What's Luke's dad's name? Uh, George. <laughs> hey, George! <laughs> Your offspring is causing trouble. We are trying to walk past and go home. We are just poor orphans who have no family and they are harassing us. <laughs> Luke just grins at you and says, says to you. My father's still out fishing. Oh, good. Yeah, of course, he's always away. You're basically an orphan as well. Why don't you come with us to the orphanage? Because your father's never home. <laughs> because I'm useful by sharpening things and actually doing something that doesn't get in everyone's way. You want to see sharp things? <laughs> you, want to talk to, you want to talk to me about sharp things? <laughs> don't talk to me about sharp things. He will straight up give you sharp things. I mean, how we... do you want the sharp things to be? <laughs> Look, I don't know, uh, I don't know what you're thinking, but tomorrow at the waterfall, what kind of, uh, what are you thinking? Go on, give us a, give us a little bit of a, uh, What, what does it idea? sound like, Kip? God damn it. Ah, this one's smarter than he looks then. Right. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> That's your assessment of this, okay. <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Well, I, I don't know about the rest of you, but I kind of like a little bit of a... I don't mind a bit of a scrap. See you there, then. But, one condition. What's the matter? You scared of the dragon? What dragon? The dragon that only we have seen and survived from. Everyone oh, yes. else is I too scared that. to see it. <laughs> one condition. No weapons. We don't need weapons. Or you don't make a deal like that. Do <laughs> <laughs> I need to have a <laughs> he, he literally can't abide by that rule. <laughs> he is unable to. <laughs> Well, if you think you're so tough, I'll take you on right now. See you tomorrow. And who's the coward? You, you, you now turn and walk. <laughs> Guess that speaks volumes. God, God damn it, Kip! You know that at least one of them knows magic. Yeah, and I know. No, you're walking. Shut up. <laughs> hey, Ernest. Hey, nerd. Can you do a spell <laughs> that makes your weapon follow you? Just leave me alone. No, drop the knife <laughs> and then start walking. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I never, I never thought I'd be the last one standing down on the four of these people. Jesus. I mean, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to run after them. Back. Oh, yeah. Puppies in hand. As I'm walking away, this could be a scene. Generals gathered in the masses. <laughs> oh, yeah. As a, uh, okay, as a promise, no, I'll be you're... there tomorrow. I'll pull out one of my throwing knives and just throw it at her feet. Oh, no! Break an attack roll. What are you doing? It's always a great knife. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is a 17. Lodges into the ground. 
Keep that for me. Oh. You should have just mine. It would have followed us. Now you wasted a knife. So stupid. You owe me a knife. Did she flinch? <laughs> what is his knife? Yes. Why does he owe you shit? He's like, keep that one for me. And I'll just hear oh. the hero like ranting under her breath about stupid orphans. Oh. <laughs> you just call him intelligent. Don't call him stupid now. <laughs> No, they called me. Well, I mean, look, they called one of us smart. The rest of us are allowed to be dumb. Uh, you walk back feeling pretty good about yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> After a while, I let the knife catch up. <laughs> <laughs> we've we, we've picked a fight. I don't feel particularly great about that, but it's it's happening now. Well, look, it, technically, technically, she, they picked a it fight, was a mutual still, start. Yeah, for, yeah. Look, if she wants to keep bullying us like she does, then she needs to be taught a lesson or two. Uh, but we should not do that without tongue. Exactly. We need our we need our duck friend. I'm sure we can break him out of house arrest. We need aerial support. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I need my sword. That's true. Now, yeah. I'm so glad they did not see the bag. <laughs> Ernest is such an idiot. His dad is gonna be destroying so him. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Not gonna lie. Uh, and he didn't even get the fishing rod. No, uh, the worst. You know, dodging tomatoes is an excellent way of incre- of uh, you know training. I'd recommend it to you a lot. <laughs> you want me to throw tomatoes at you? No, I'll throw tomatoes at you, and you try dodging. I'd rather or punch not. them. I'd rather not. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Just... I mean, that sounds like a waste of tomatoes. <laughs> 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 Can we not throw things that are not food? <laughs> I throw a stick. A rock. Yep. Done. Dirt. Much better. <laughs> I would rather be hit in the face with a rock than waste a tomato. <laughs> what if there are rotten tomatoes? What? The, the, Why the, would you let a tomato go rotten? Yeah. Why would not eat it? Oh, tell the guys who throw rotten tomatoes at me when I try to do my music. They are wasteful people who they have really too much are. money than sense. In an orphanage. Kind of like that Kaya. I need all the food we have. Yes. <laughs> I don't like her. She has very nice clothes. <laughs> <laughs> they are very fine clothes. <sighs> but if you want to practice hating her, I can look like her. I mean, but that means I'll be hitting you. No, don't hit me. <laughs> I don't like this idea. <laughs> anyway, we need to sort out this bag because I don't like not having my knives on me. <laughs> uh, we have a closet, don't we? Uh, yeah, I don't want to carry. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Let's let's first we have to get the fish out when yeah, we get yeah, close. Yeah, 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 we, yeah let's close. let's do that. Let, let's go put the fish back, eat some food, and then we can talk about it tonight. And Bruto, yeah. you and your girlfriend, you are useful <laughs> back there. What were you doing? You should have protected us. <laughs> when we need you, yeah, to be, about right. <laughs> when we need you to be nice. You are a jerk, and when we need you to be an angry jerk dog, you are like, oh, my puppy. These are puppies. Walks up to you and starts nuzzling against you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Stay mad at such a beautiful dog. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Mm-hmm. Uh, are they watching us? Who? The kids, are they following us? Uh, they're not following you. Um, oh, if good. you turn to look over your shoulder, you see uh, that Kayla's just very angry. <laughs> Did they pick up his knife? Yeah. Stomping her foot. Uh, no, <laughs> they left it where it was for now. We're going back for that, by the way. <laughs> I expect them to bring it to us, that way we don't have to do any more. They don't have that knife on them tomorrow. <laughs> then I'll just give you one. You don't have to give me a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a knife. <laughs> How about you don't take one and I just give you one? That does not as much appeal. <laughs> I can understand that, but just, how about yes? <laughs> <laughs> that way I know what it's gone to. <laughs> yeah. You can have the X. I guess. I mean, you broke it. Why? You are. That's very strong. Not many people break an X. Eh, I mean, it was old and rotten. Oh, okay, well... I think I just hit it wrong. You could have tricked me into thinking it was you breaking an axe, but okay, good choice. <laughs> I Lying <mean>, is bad. <laughs> he, he should know. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> You've never told a lie before, have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ask Raz who knows for a fact Inside you check! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why would you even bother it? You guys all know. Yeah, know and yeah, why, I why. Know. <laughs> yeah. He knows for a fact. That's why I asked. Like, Nobody needs a roll when I lied to you guys. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, as we get closer, we want to take the fish out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, you're making your way up through. Um, the sun's starting to set over the ocean to mm-hmm. the uh, west, um, and you do see a small boat 
pulling around the harbour, and there's some men on there sort of staring intently out across at the island. What's up, fellow grown men? <laughs> That's right. Oh, yes. kids, do you know where the Dreamweaver is? The who? The Dreamweaver. Is that like a store or a kind of boat or something? <sighs> Not a scooby. Bloody useless. Just keep sailing off. What were right. you looking at? They don't seem inclined to respond. <laughs> I want to look to where they were looking. Uh, they seem to be like just staring at the island and scraping it up. Um, they're sort of running their eyes along the edge of it. Looking at the, uh, looking at them, do they look like they're from the island? No. Hmm. They look very much like the stories you've heard about pirates. Well, can I just get a really shit. good look at one of them? Whoever sure. looks, whoever actually called out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does not get a really good look at him? <laughs> yeah. He's got sort of a, not a long, long beard, but it's fairly, um, unkempt grey. Uh, he's got one eye missing and a big scarf for it. He's got a red bandana. Alright. Let me just that. Beard. Unkempt. Red bandana. I can't copy clothes. But, I'm um, sorry. And one missing eye. an eye with a scarf. You can use my red bandana. Okay. Scar. Scarf. Eye. Why do you have that? My, keep my hair out of my face. Red. Surely yeah. you just cut it. Right. Oh, cool. it up. Why would I do that? <laughs> Thank you. When I can do <laughs> this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I do that too, but it's still not in my face, is it? Yeah, but yours is up. Yeah, but yours stands up. Everything is up for you. You're like constantly floating. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Besides, <laughs> besides, <laughs> it's it's so blase. Like, yeah, it's like, it's like oh, I, I didn't realize it didn't happen to other people. My bad. <laughs> so blase it was a crazy, amazing, magical trick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that works. So. It's uh... so yeah. You keep heading around the uh, path. Eventually, you come to the first of the two streams that divide the road with the bridges that go over before mm-hmm. you get back to the orphanage. Mm-hmm. Uh, crossing them, it becomes nightfall. It's getting harder to see, but your eyes have adjusted because you've been outside. Um, and in starlight, you make your way home. Yep. And we'll take the fish out as we get close. <laughs> and the fishing rod what? Yep. as well. <laughs> so, yeah. If we can help each other carry the fish so it's not too heavy, and then the other one carry the fishing rod, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Makes sense. And I'll put the bag back under the jumper. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. And try and tuck my back in a bit. <laughs> so that All right. Flattens out. I'm Shall gonna, we? I'm going to be walking super awkwardly, but... <laughs> <laughs> Not quite prat falling through the door, but getting close to it. Yeah. You see most of the kids are gathered around the fire, um, talking and playing games. I've still once again asleep in his couch. Dump the fish on him. I'm going to be super loud about no. it. Hey! <laughs> we have the fish! We got the fish! Oh, good job, boys. Bring it through. And Kip has been working all day on how to prepare fish as well. I had oh. to work for it. <laughs> oh. We Look, did. it's such a good one. Oh, we didn't wow. have enough but money, so... Very big. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we? <sighs> and also, if we want more, I got a fishing rod for the orphanage. Oh, well, you better learn how to use that. Thought someone else might know, but I will also learn, I guess. Well, he also got bait. Yes, and bait. <laughs> Just make sure you don't take more than you need. Speaking of that, <laughs> I have some knives to return. Oh. I will give them to you later. Good. They're better than the ones we had before. Ruth, what have you done? <laughs> Got you some good knives. How? I traded them. For? I traded 20 knives for 10 good knives. So now we're down 10 knives, you're telling me. But these ones are better and sharper and newer. <sighs> and they haven't been stuck to my body for months. <laughs> good job on the fish. <laughs> you're welcome. I know you love me. Of course I love you. I love you all. Come on. Can you I love, help with you the fish? You love me because I look like Alpha Sure, come on. <laughs> I will help uh, prepare uh, the fish. Yep. And food. Yep, so you start. I will help Ruth sort out his knives. And uh, <laughs> I will write down <laughs> for future reference that I want to be proficient with cooking fish utensils. Cutting. Cooking utensils. <laughs> fish oh. cutting. Um, we, we, could, we could basically just stop adventuring and just become a fishmongering business. I'll learn how to fish. You learn how to... <laughs> <laughs> do a, yeah. like, clean them up. I'll learn how to cook. And we'll <laughs> sing while we work. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll <laughs> maybe figure out how to deal with people one day. No, no, that's going to be Tonk. The giant duck <laughs> selling fish. Ah, yep. uh, yes. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be the figurehead. <laughs> the mascot. So yeah, eventually you get the fish mm-hmm. um, sorted up. It's cut into very large portions and cooked up. Uh, eventually, 
spread out across the table. Everyone comes and eats and has more than their fill. Mm -hmm. uh, Ellie, I smell like fish from today. Can I go and clean up before I come down for dinner? Of course. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, do you know, we probably all do. We probably all do. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm still working with fish, though. So, so, uh, oh. You know, that makes sense. Who's that? Who is what? Oh, oh puppies. the door and there's a, another dog standing next to Brucho. Oh, yes. puppies. About this, uh, we have some guests <laughs> well, <laughs> permanently. Uh, um, you know, Brucho, Brucho family. Yes. Uh, very good at protecting the farm, yes? Yes. Also very good at protecting his puppies! <laughs> <laughs> he has puppies! And I like grab onto his shoulders and shake. <laughs> he has five puppies! I'm so sorry we forgot this! This was very... The fish and the... Puppies! <laughs> Please stop shaking me. Okay! Puppies! <laughs> pa what? Come, 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 come. Uh, okay. And I like point at the basket that we stupidly have just left on the doorstep, doorstep full of puppies. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, the kids have now gathered around it. Mm. Pa! Peace. <laughs> she looks over and she's like, Oh, dear. <laughs> they are adorable, aren't they? I know you cannot resist adorable things. <laughs> well, I've got some great news for you. We're not cooking puppies. You're all about to learn about responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really big word. <laughs> well... What are you talking about? It's me, Alpha Z. <laughs> you want to talk to Ruse about that? It's like, okay. Hey, Ruse! <laughs> oh, what do you want? That's uh, what I thought. She wants to talk to you, Ruse, about your naughty behaviour. And you've got a puppy now. She folds her arm and shakes her head. Oh, you've fine. got to work on that voice. I know. But uh, he has such a distinct voice. And the pipe thing, I can't do the pipe thing. Good, but no, you want, it's a horrible habit. I know you won't let me smoke, but... <laughs> it will complete the character. I'm working on a one-man stand-up dwarf show. You will love Please it. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I need to go upstairs, I smell like fish. Well, don't forget to take your puppy. What am I going to name you, puppy? Yes. Puppy. <laughs> Come on, puppy. That's exactly what you're going to name. Brucho, apparently this is mine now, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's how responsibility works. Apparently, you take things away from their parents. <laughs> I say to <laughs> <laughs> to the orphanage on the <laughs> As you're lecturing, Bruce is just looking at the cocked head. No, I'm talking to Ailey about that. <laughs> Apparently, you take things away from their parents mm, mm. to look after them. Mm? Mm. Ailey, is that mm. what we do here? Mm? Mm. Mm? 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 Responsibility. <laughs> I'm not saying no, I'm happy to have a puppy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not like their parents aren't here, but you know. I just really need to go and wash up because I smell like fish and I do not like it. Used to, I have an idea. Off you go then. Let's, what we can do is take in turns, like, doing certain things with the puppies, like cleaning up after them. Wait. Which means, not it! But, uh, okay, not it. But also, but, but also, there's only, there's only, but Tonk even, does not have his finger on his beak. I yeah. guess he is it. Yeah. Even when, <laughs> even when Tonk is here, that's four of us and there's five puppies. That's okay. I'm sure Ellie will find someone absolutely wonderful to look after the last puppy. Chef. No, Chef. <laughs> chef cannot look after, he will eat the puppy. Chef, <laughs> you will eat the puppy, won't you? I'm not going to eat a puppy, you idiot. Chef. <laughs> Come on, you can tell me. I look like you sometimes. I might eat you. Why would you eat me? Oh, shut up. I'm a dragonborn, like you. <laughs> Do you know what <laughs> my favourite part of the day is? When you go to sleep? When you're not here. That was most of today. You it had was. a great day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's all gone to hell. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I am taking puppy mm. upstairs. Mm. <laughs> and I'm going to take another one of these puppies to Tonk. Is that okay, Ailey? I'm going to go in and see him. You're not to see him. How am I going to give him a puppy? Come on, do you think this through? I will take it up to him. You are so clever. That's <laughs> what I'm known for. Now go on, wash up. You wouldn't happen to know anyone called the Dreamweaver, would you? Oh! <laughs> 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 the the Dreamweaver? Sounds yeah. like the name of a ship. Oh. That's what I said. Yeah, so there are a couple of uh, guys on a On a ship, boat. On a boat. About that. They look yeah. like pirates. Oh, yeah. that's... Troublesome. That looks pretty pirate yeah. uh, And I'll lean close to Alien. I know that you know I can do things, and I, I looked at one of them very closely. I think I can change to him to show you what he looks like. Oh, I don't think that's necessary. Should we tell the town guard, though? Oh, I'm sure they can deal with it. Like, if I become him and you draw me and be like, you looks like this, and then I can change back and no one will know. 
My secret? I think he'll be okay. I'll tell you what, why don't you practice showing off for Sue? Oh, he doesn't know. He's stupid. He does not know that I can do this. Hey, <laughs> show respect. He does not know he is not as smart as you. You really think he doesn't know? Kind of, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize it was him that found you on the doorstep? <sighs> of course I realize that. That's why I look like him. The point there is... There you go. <laughs> He forgets a lot of things, so I thought maybe he would forget something as minor as that. <laughs> that is one of the few things he has not forgotten. I love you, Alpha Seal. You are the best. I yeah, know. Duh. <laughs> also, we have a new axe for you. Oh. But you have to fix it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's because Kip more. kicked it and broke an axe. Did you know he's like, he can do this? Why are you out there kicking axes? Well, it's fun. What else are we going to do? Go fishing? Well, also, also yes! <laughs> we, well, lucky we did! <laughs> you were sick the whole day, as far as I know. <sighs> if... He is just so sick of your shit, it's great. We're going to drive uh, this wolf into an alligator. If, um... Change of topic. Um, if I potentially, hypothetically said that uh, I could have... That I may have gotten myself a job in the town. Mm-hmm. Can I do that? Oh, yes. Of course. <laughs> Make sure you work hard and don't cause trouble in there. I, I will. I will. I, mean, I won't. I won't. <laughs> I mean, I will and I won't. <laughs> I know what you mean and I know you will and won't. <laughs> mm. <coughs> this, is, this is us we're talking about. Us going into town basically guarantees trouble. <laughs> uh, also, tomorrow I need to take that basket back to the baker. Oh, yes. Yes. Just, you know, letting you know to remind me because I'm nine. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Am I ten? You're I don't... twelve. Okay, Bruce. well. Oh. I wasn't lying, I just don't know. <laughs> I know. Wait, does that mean that I'm twelve? This is a genuine conversation. <laughs> 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 We're all at the same age, right? I think. Go on, watch up. Ben is almost ready. I've got to keep preparing. Alright. Right. Right. I need to wash up. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I can finish helping prepare and then I'll wash up and eat afterwards. No, that's okay. I'll have it from here. Okay. I'll go wash it up. <laughs> Wait, do I get given a puppy as well? It's oh, expected oh, that you'll take one. Yeah. <laughs> we did bring five, six <laughs> more mouths to the <laughs> oh, so that's that's uh, yeah. Um As soon as we get to the room, I'm mm. just taking the bag off and turning it tight out. Yep. yep. Uh, so what did you put in there? Uh, 20. No, hang on. <laughs> Let me count that up. So many. 21, 22, 18. 23 knives. Um, and the bait. Mm-hmm. And do we put anything else in? Uh, the fish. The fish itself. The fishing rod was, was already out. The axe. You were gesturing with it. And the axe head. And the axe head. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Fifteen minutes of that, they all start clattering to the floor, um, bouncing everywhere. And it's like what it. comes out of it? Those things. <laughs> uh, the only other thing you do see is a white uh, hexagonal cylinder falls out. Sounds a bit like marble that hits the ground and rolls. I walk over Stop to it and look at it. That. That is mine now, thank you. I don't know what's in it, but it's mine. No, it feels like almost like stone. Pick it up. It feels like a rod of marble, essentially. Hmm. What part of that is mine now? Did we not understand? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, possession is nine parts ownership is nine parts of the ten ownership. <laughs> <laughs> While he's concentrating on that. <laughs> that on me. <laughs> he knows. Does that mean I have to roll against this? <laughs> what's With your, an 18, maybe. Yeah, what, what's your passive perception, my guy? Because you're focusing on telling me about possession. I know, but I also know he likes stealing my shit. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> to me, though. No. Yeah, you take it. <laughs> <laughs> you take his good one. No, you don't. That's actually clipped in. You can't take that one without unclipping it. <laughs> anyway, guess what's going on? Clipped. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> Plus one of Kip's knives. <laughs> yeah, the throwing knife. <laughs> Oh, joyous. Well, it's interesting. Does anyone know what this is? No, but I'll have it. <laughs> it, it was, yeah, it was... Let's throw it to that. Mm. Pocket back, because I found it in the magic bag that fucking Ruse just stole out of a general store. Who knows what it is? Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? Uh, so <laughs> white marble cylinder. Yes. yes. Uh, hexagonal. hexagonal. Hex. Uh, sorry, hex. Well, hex cylinder. Mm. White marble. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Now, 
can I please have some help making somewhere for this, like behind the cupboard or mm. in the wall or something? Mm. Yes. Uh, or try move, perhaps move the cupboard. Perhaps if I move the cupboard out of the way and we can put it like on, like sort of on the back of the cupboard. Well, I have an idea. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gonna just move the cupboard forward just a bit mm -hmm. and then like slip in there, take like a small form. Yeah, that I've, by the halflings. Yeah, yeah. And just slip in the back, and then take out the throwing knife that I stole from him, <laughs> and like push it into the wood to hang the bag off, and then just hang oh, off yeah. that. Uh, yep. So it's yeah, like that'll work. behind the cupboard and concealed as best we can, and then move the cupboard back so that it's as flat with the wall as possible. And when we need this, and we go outside, hmm. we remember to take it. Yep. Sure. Sounds good. Hmm. I should probably go pick up one of those puppies. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> but like, mine's just sitting on the bed. <laughs> I didn't pick one up. <laughs> no, I, didn't, I didn't take one yet. <laughs> oh well, clean up, eat, and then grab it. So we're, we're gonna get down there. We're gonna be gone, aren't we? That's what I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right. And then I'll, I'll do up. my best impression of Ailey and be like, responsibility. <laughs> Yes, but if someone else takes it, that means I don't have to. No, it means someone has stolen your property, which you would not want. Mm. So, I welcome it? You welcome people stealing your property. Remember that, Rez? He said that, he said that in my presence. He welcomes people stealing his property. Only if I don't want it. it. Well, if you, if you wanted it, you would keep it, right? Exactly. exactly. If you so, wanted the thing, you would still have it. In exactly. Case, during all that, I'm going to step outside and go grab a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Also, uh, that's happening. You start heading down the stairs, um, yeah. and you hear Absol uh, call out, Taylor, Arabella, leave those puppies alone. They're <laughs> not for you. I'm now going to run down the stairs and grab a puppy. Because <laughs> one of those is obviously for me. I'm going to meander my way down. <laughs> oh, what am I going to name this thing? Uh, leaving him down here, huh? While well, you go and get ready. Good start, boys. Good start. Well, I didn't want to get my fish hands all over him. At what? least Ruse knows what he's doing. Oh, I thought so. Still got him like nestled in the jumper. Yeah. What kind <laughs> of... <laughs> your jumper is very good for your belly and also for the dog. Uh, I said... Uh, <laughs> what kind of puppies are like? What, what are the How can uh, I not imitate like? you? All you do is grunt. <laughs> <laughs> What's left? <laughs> I'm just going to pick four puppies. Four puppies? Four puppies? Well, yeah. well, is there anyone... Are there any that look particularly interesting? Uh, they all look pretty similar. They're yeah. fresh puppies. Yeah, they're, they're, they're puppies. No, they don't look interesting. stand out from the others? No, the female uh, that Brucho seems to have found seems almost like probably a wild wolf descendant that was mm -hmm. bred with local dogs. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a cross between that and him, who was a Ridgeback. I want the one that looks the most unique out of them. I'm, I'm just going to grab a puppy. Oh, oh, you forgot to mention the albino one. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark. You maybe have seen it. <laughs> It's almost mildly crackling from its ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they're all pretty standard. What's a blink dog, purple eyes? One of them's wearing a red headband, it's so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, one of them has heterochromia, there you go. <laughs> Perfect, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, While we're having dinner, I'm just going to keep asking you guys, like, what the hell do you think that thing is? Hmm? Oh, the cell, that's The little block thing. What is that? Don't know. And what the fuck is that dream weaver? Is it a oh, boat? I think it's a boat. It could be a boat. It could be a someone. Those men look like pirates, the ones from the books. Yeah. You know the story books and there's naughty naughty pirates? Those I know mm -hmm. about. Yeah. I don't exactly know about many like, books, but those ones, definitely. Like, I think it's very easy to copy and be him because all the ones in the books look exactly the same. I don't know. This is very weird. Mm. Don't like it. Tomorrow we put the basket back and mm -hmm. we ask someone in town about the Dreamweaver and about the pirates. And then we beat up some bullies, yeah? We don't have to beat them up, we just have to scare the shit out of them. Well, that's, I mean... I mean, are those two things not one and the same? Hang on. <laughs> well, I mean, she did flinch when I threw the dagger at her feet. So, yeah, I, I, I... Stop I, reminding me about how you wasted a knife. I, I don't, I, I don't <laughs> imagine that she's actually... I don't imagine that she's that really keen on, you know, properly fighting them. Those oh, kids know seems, how to use like, magic, though. I was like, it seems like Lucas. Oh, it seems like Lucas. Ernest is a giant nerd, but his books teach him things, and he knows how to do things. Yeah, but but now you know what those things are, maybe? Well, I mean, I was I, when I was speaking with him when we were in the store, he was telling me that he's trying to learn a, a 
A spell that will make metal really, really hot. He wants to use it against you. Oh, good luck. I don't carry any metal on me. <laughs> this is talking about all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. He means your knives. Let's think of this. Because uh-huh. we are all 12, so this is a weird thing to think about. Uh-huh. If I have the bag on uh-huh. my back, right. and all the knives are in the bag, uh-huh. and I take a knife out to throw it, uh-huh. you would not have time to try to heat it up, yes? Sure. Well, I, don't I don't know. I don't know, know magic. How, I don't know how magic works, honestly. To really scare the crap out of you. You'd be like, oh, you heat the thing up. And I'd say, what thing? And then, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You gotta make that you know what? Yeah, yeah. When, when you say it like that, it sounds like it'll work. Yeah, of course it will. My plans are known about <laughs> everywhere. I've got to work on this. Mm. I've got to work on my speeches. Definitely. But uh, it should be fun tomorrow. We should bring Brucho, though. They don't have a dog. We have an advantage. Oh, oh but don't bring your puppy. No, no, don't bring the puppies. Kill immediately. No, yeah. no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave Buddy here. That's a problem. Oh, you've got a name for it already. Yeah. Buddy. Let's get hey, it. Buddy. We are the worst at naming dogs. <laughs> we have Buddy and Puppy. What are you going to call yours? Dog? I have no idea. <laughs> Derek. Well, it's clearly not a dog yet. It's clearly still a puppy. And you've already taken Puppy, obviously. Puppy, do you like the name Puppy or do you want a different name? Yap. <laughs> its eyes are completely closed as it's sleeping. <laughs> it's bored of the name. When it wakes up, I will give it a new name. I sense a trend coming on. <laughs> I want to call it Whispers. I will call it Whispers. Good night, Whispers. And I like lay him on my pillow. Yep. But like off to the side so he pisses himself. <laughs> <laughs> not because I have a child and I know that that's a thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's definitely a thing. So, uh, yeah, just move it. Does Ruth have a child? <laughs> no, but like. He is a child. I've seen Rucho <laughs> wet things, so. <laughs> I'm just moving the puppy a little bit to the side, but on my pillow. Yep. And then bringing the covers up like Eily tucks us in. Aww. Adorable. Sort of eyes fly open just a little bit as you do it, and then it closes its eyes again, lets out a big yawn and goes back to sleep. And I'll just whisper to it, like, Your name is Whispers. Good night. Now let's go downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> we are missing dinner. Oh yes, of course. Anyway, go eat food. We have a lot of things to do tomorrow, and I am a little scared. But you know, that is no good stories Please come from boring things, right? Yes. Yes. I don't know. I've never read a boring book. That's all. <laughs> I have. It had numbers in it. Those books are great. You learn about numbers. Are you here? The bell downstairs ring indicating dinner's ready. Food. Oh. <laughs> yep. All <laughs> heading downstairs for food. The puppy has remained unnamed thus far. I'm going to take... Oh, this is a tough call. This is tough. I'm going to take five of the... Oh, no. I did say... I'll take all ten of the good new knives. <laughs> and I'll put them in the kitchen. Yep. And I'll make sure it's clattering and loud so Eile knows I did it. Eile, I'm putting the knives in the knife drawer. Oh, good. How long do you think they'll stay for this time? Like a day, maybe. <laughs> More than I was going to give you credit for. Go on, sit down. I straight away pocket the knife on the dinner table. <laughs> um, I've learned how to eat with just a fork at this point. <laughs> Uh, breakfast is sort of spread out in the mornings, but over the past few years, you've had more and more children come, and it's sort of so crowded at the dinner table, most people just grab something and sit down on the floor. Yeah, okay. um, yeah. As the older kids, you get the privilege of sitting at the table. Uh-huh. Most of the younger kids grab a plate and go and sit around the fire or sit off in the corner. You all enjoy a meal of fish, which is very unusual. Of tuna, no less. And it's high quality fish. I enjoy it even more fish. because I hate to cook it. <laughs> it was an absolutely prime piece of fish. Do I find a scale? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did use the wrong knife. <laughs> used it very well. Uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty much done for the night. And I've yeah. been exhausted and ate a ton because we spent the whole day not eating. Correct. And don't forget, boys, Tonk's out of time out tomorrow, so make sure you take him when you return the basket. Of course. Sure. Sounds like a good idea. You did show him the puppy, right? Oh, yes. It's up there with him now. Good, because he needs friends and company around. I've never seen a duck smile before, but <laughs> there you go. You are not hanging around Tonk enough. Uh, he's very fun. He smiles a lot. Yeah. You have to know how to read the duck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Off to bed. Good night. All right. Good um, night. Uh, you all head up to bed and tuck in with puppies for pillows. Um, with no wet pillows, luckily. Ah, nice. Yes. Yet. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> 
Um, and you'll start <coughs> nodding off after a very big day. And that is where we'll leave it. So come back next week to see the battle. Mm-hmm. Uh, of the puppies. <laughs> Clash of the kids. Uh, thanks for sticking around, guys. Don't forget to join us this Thursday for Star Wars. Uh, back again next Monday for Princes of the Apocalypse. Uh, back here next Tuesday for this again. And... We have two other guests that are going to tell us about something else happening this Oh, week. yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Catch us tomorrow for the second episode of uh, Tabletop Fables Roundtable. Yeah, yeah. We are going to surprise you with what we're planning on speaking about. Mostly because we'll be surprised mostly, because, mostly because we're still deciding exactly what we want to speak about ourselves. Uh, I'm already surprised. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so stick around. Should be good fun where we're just going to talk shit, really. <laughs> Let's be hopefully real. Not hopefully not hit. quite that important. Talk shit yeah. and hopefully not get hit. I like that. <laughs> Snoop Dogg!